Valdosta Nissan Cadillac is the home of oil changes for life on any vehicle purchased from us, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty on all new vehicles. We have one of the largest pre-owned inventories in South Georgia, the best service department in Valdosta, and our parts department can get you anything from wiper blades to tires. So for all your automotive needs, come see me, D-Ray, at Valdosta Nissan Cadillac, or give me a call, 912-599-9564. Go Panthers. Don't miss the Waycross Ware County Public Library's annual OkieCon, a free comics and fandom festival on Saturday, May the 4th. There are activities for all ages, including a kids area, Smash Brothers tournament, play to win board games, cosplay contest, maker crafts, and more. We'll also give away free Comic Book Day 2019 comics while supplies last. For more info, see www.okrls.org. Homerville Feed and Seed can provide nearly all of your farming related needs, including seed, corn, bulk fertilizer, herbicides, insecticides, and a large variety of other farm products. Evelie and Nick want to remind you that you do not have to shop out of town to find the lowest prices. Our prices are as low or lower than any of those out of town companies. Come by and let the friendly staff at Homerville Feed and Seed help you select the farm products you need at the lowest prices around. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength, joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. Lutz, Brown, Pigler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Pigler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Farmers and Merchants Bank in Homerville is ready to meet all of your banking needs. With drive through service, 24-hour ATM, and night depository, we provide the most efficient and service-oriented banking in the area. We are proud to be a part of the Homerville Clinch County community and support all Clinch County athletic teams in their quest to be the best. Go by and see Sam Shaw and all the team at Farmers and Merchants Bank in Homerville to discuss your banking opportunities. Go Panthers! Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Come out to Lolita's for the best cold treats and hot sweets around. You'll be glad you did. Located on Highway 84 East in Homerville, Lolita invites everyone to enjoy our outdoor seating, our New Orleans-style snowballs, and fresh mouth-watering beignets. Don't forget our tasty chili dogs. For your convenience, Lolita's is open Monday through Saturday from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Come cool off or heat up at Lolita's, East Highway 84 in Homerville. The Shack Cafe is now open in Pearson, Georgia. For the best breakfast and lunch buffets in South Georgia, check out the Shack Cafe. You can dine in. Order takeout or use our fast and efficient drive through We have a wide variety of meals, sandwiches, and burgers. Oh yeah, and after breakfast and lunch at the Shack Cafe, drive on over to the Country Cabin Steakhouse for dinner. Just off the Pearson-Douglas Highway, we are known for the best steaks and seafood in South Georgia. 
And don't forget, the Country Cabin Steakhouse can host all of your holiday parties, events, and meals. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. 912-490-7142 You're watching Creekbox TV. Camping World of Eldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Hi guys, my name is Nick Johnson. I'm the new pastor of Homerville Fruel Baptist Church. And I just moved here with my family from Oklahoma. Boomer! Say no. Sometimes life throws you some difficult things. And when it happens, it can seem scary, almost make you feel like you're all alone. I want you to know that if God is with you, then you can make it through anything. The Word of God says that He will never leave us, He will never forsake us. He will go before us. If you give your life to Him, He'll help you make it through those difficult times. And on the other side, you will be blessed. I'm so blessed to be here in Homerville. We love the town. Love the people. Go Panthers! Yeah. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. You're watching Creekbox TV. All right, welcome to Creek Box TV. We are here for the deciding game, the GHSA Class A Public School Baseball Playoffs here in the second round. In game one, Tron was the victory over Clinch County, three to two. In game two, the Panthers come back and won 11 to three. So this is the deciding game. The winner will take on, move to the next round and take on the winner between uh, Bacon Charter and Bowden, and that series is uh, split one to one. So Warren Stovall will be up to bat first for the Panthers. On the mound today, you have uh, 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 Andy Allen. So my sidekick, Tim Carroll, run a little late, so I'm going to be by myself a little bit. Y'all just hang on and be patient. And uh, maybe I can limit my mistakes to just a few because I'll have some. We appreciate everybody tuning in. I know it's a early start today, 2 o'clock game, and a school still on here in Clinch County, and I'm sure it's trying. So we ought to have a lot of viewers on the cell phone uses today, and y'all can get us on Creekbox.net, Fire TV, Android, Roku, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, you know, if you'll like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, and y'all send in a text and give us a shout out. <clears throat> Three balls and one strike on Stovall. 
and he'll draw a walk. So that'll be walk one for Allen. So the Panthers get the leadoff batter on. That will bring up Jalen Griffiths. He pitched game two last night for the Panthers and got the victory. Did a great job. Had to have that win. A little outside on Allen. Allen come in and got he got closed out game one. Did a great job for Tron. Good looking kid was down here watching him warm up. He's got some heat. Pretty pitch right down the pipe. One and one now on Jalen. Just starting here. We've been dodging weather all day. Good cut there. Jalen will foul that back out of the way. The catcher for trying is Briar Engel. Doing a great job back there. It is hot. It's real muggy here in Clinch County today. He's going to snap back, try to pick him off. Got by the first baseman, and he's going to Stovall will come over to second. So he'll be safe. Stovall will move to second after drawing a walk. No outs here. Top of the first. Allen looking at Engel, getting a signal. Oh, and that's going to hit Jalen. Oh, right on the top of the wrist. Breaking curve, and it just hung up in the air a little bit. So Jalen will walk down to first. So that'll put two Panthers on the base now with no outs here. And that's going to bring up big Duncan Lutz, who went four for four in game two last night. Duncan had two doubles, a triple. Way too much. Change us to a different camera there, Brad. We trying to, there we go. We'll get that camera back set. <laughs> Here we go, strike. We got a little angle. The wind has picked up, it's popped fly, and that'll be out one. So Duncan will fly out. Good job by the first baseman over there for Tron. And that is, let me look. That is J.D. Helms with the out. So that'll be out one. That'll bring up Kyle Hendricks. He'll be catching today for the Panthers. Changing back, we'll get it straight here in a minute. Ain't no big deal. When Mother Nature comes in, you can see uh, what it. Pitch one. That's one ball and two strikes here on Kyle Hendricks. Allen ahead now. Panthers have a. All right, there we go. We're back up and running now. There we go, a lot better view there. So Kyle Hendricks struck out, there's two outs now. No, they're showing one out. Now the bases is, they always have a runner on first and second. Kyle had to strike out. They're just behind us on the scoreboard here. Oh, 
Prince Kaysen is up the back. Allen doing a good job for trying to get out of a jam here in the first inning. There's a ball. and he'll draw a walk, Brent's will, and that will load the bases for the Panthers here in the first inning with two outs. So Allen trying to get out of a jam here. This happened in, a, in both games uh, last night. Uh, beginning of the games, the pitchers Go lap back to the other one. There we go. We'll just stay there to uh bases are loaded here in the top of the first. Allen getting out of a jam here. One ball, one strike with two outs. He needs one out to get trying out then. And good pitch there by Allen. Come. Oh, there's a hit it's going down to left field. And that's going to roll to the fence. I think it went foul. So it'll everybody will come back. Good job in there. That's Josh Griffiths up to bat for the Panthers. And he'll be pitching today. We're getting Texas up on the press box watching. That's right, from Coach Tyson with some football kids. The Panthers will start spring practice uh, under our new head coach, Coach Don Tyson, here next week. <laughs> Joshua Touchton and Joey Temperley's class watching from the classroom. All right, we appreciate y'all tuning in. We're getting our cameras situated here. We've dodged rain. Ah, looks like, look out, the Panthers might be trying to steal home. It's hit and run zone. And he got a hit. That's going to score two Panther runs. Nope, and they've caught it deep in outfield. We didn't get it. Center fielder made a great catch, and that's going to get us out of the in and one. Good job by Allen to get out of a bind with no runs. So we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Valdosta Orthopedic Associates has been setting the standard in South Georgia for quality orthopedic and medical care for over 25 years. We don't get to choose when injury or illness will strike, but when they do, the board certified physicians here will work hard to make sure you recover as soon as possible. Remember, Valdosta Orthopedic Associates has a walk-in clinic where you can get help quick and special bumps and bruises clinic where middle school and high school athletes can get the best of treatment even on Saturday mornings after the game. Valdosta Orthopedic Associates, Valdosta. All right, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We've got Brad registered today. He's filling in for us here. Does a great job at Creek Box. He's run all the way to center field. He's working on the cameras where the wind has blown it down. So we're working on that. This view here, the only view we got right yet. So we got a bunch of text coming in. Let's see. We have a Mr. P's class from Tron says, Go dogs." 
Bill Hendricks watching from the B yard. Go Panthers. All right. All right. We got little George Raymond watching out there at the welding shop. Not getting nothing done. All right. First up to bat for trying will be Colt Trammell. He is the center fielder. First pitch is a strike. Josh Griffiths is uh, on the mound for the Panthers. Kyle Hendricks, the catcher. A little low there. Good eye by Colt. You know, we got a good crowd for a 2 o'clock game, I guess. You know, a lot of people don't get off till 5. Josh trying to get a curveball in. A little high. Trying, man, I know they're give out. They played last night. The game didn't get over till after 10. All right, Colt, he's going to hit it right back to Josh. It bounces out of his glove, and he's going to be, no, got him. Boy, a close play there. Colt was hustling down. So that'll be out number one for Tron. And that will bring up Andy Allen, the pitcher for Tron. But Tron got through last night. They probably got out of here about 10.30, and they went all the way to Tifton, I think, you know. So them boys had to get something to eat. Another give out traveling all the way down from Tron. And I'm going to try to keep up with these texts. Tim's coming. Uh, Y'all be patient with me. Allen, good swing. It's going to be hit to left field. And that's going to, did it get down? Yes, it did. Good hit by Allen. He's coming around. Let's see if he's going to try for two. And he will. He'll get a double. Great hit right down the third baseline. So he'll get a double with one out here. So here comes Trine threatening. Last inning, the Panthers loaded the bases. And uh, Allen did a great job to get out of a jam. Had one out with the bases loaded and got out of the inning without giving up any runs. So now Hagen Will Willington will come up to bat for Tron. He's the second baseman. Good pitch. You're going to hit it down to short. Allen scoops it up for the Panthers, and he'll get the out at first. So two outs now. And that'll move uh, Allen over to third for Tron. So they're 90 feet away from putting a run on the board here early. Early in this game, we're at the bottom of the first. And that will bring up Briar Engel, the catcher. He's going to foul, foul one back. Watching from class because the teacher won't let us out. <laughs> so I think Tron and Clinch, the students, they got to wait. They got a little bit longer to stay. They don't get out until like three. We hate y'all having to stay in there. There's a hard hit to the shortstop. Allen will scoop it up, and it'll be an overthrown Stovall. Allen will score for Tron. So there's the first error of the game. Good job by Engel. He hit a hard shot. Uh, Allen scooped it up, and it just sailed on him when he threw the ball. Two outs. So here comes the two-out rally for Tron. Pojo tuning in in class. Go Panthers. All right, Pojo. Great basketball player for the Panthers. He's a senior. Good kid. We appreciate you tuning in, bud. All right, that's going to bring up Blaine Woody, the right fielder for Tron. Tron here with an early lead, one to nothing. Game three, the winner will advance. First pitch, good job by Kyle. He knocks it down. He'll hold him at first. Josh getting a signal from Kyle. Blaine does a good job. He had both games last night. He's real patient. Another good job by Kyle. Blaine's a big kid. I talked to 
bunch of the Tron kids down here before the game. Uh, they got back to the motel. Uh, they didn't go straight to bed. A lot of them watched the game on Facebook last night. They're excited, ready to play baseball today. Three balls in a row by Griffiths. Three balls, no strikes. I'm sure Blaine will be taking it all the way here. I don't know. As big as he is, the coach might let him take a big swing here. Pretty pitch there. Griffiths had to have it right down the middle. Tron leading one to nothing here in the bottom of the first. Oh, good cut there by Woody. That'll be a full count now. Can I get a shout out for the Black Hammer, Briar Ingle, a.k.a. Bingle. All right, got buddies up in trying. That's going to be low, and he'll draw a walk. We got some of uh, the bag blowing up on the camera. The wind is just adjusting. So we're going to go back to it. So trying now, runners at first and second with two outs. Jimmy's going to drop five pounds a piece. Him and Brad running a pretty pitch in there. Running back and two, that camera's dead center field. So it's a good little jog from the trailer out there. <laughs> Tried to get David Lee to run over there, but it'll take an hour and a half for him to get there and back. So he's, he's hoarse from hollering, telling Jimmy which way to go. Pop up straight to Josh, and that'll be get the Panthers out of the inning. But not before trying. We'll take a one to nothing lead here. So we've played one complete inning, and we'll be back for inning number two. Valdosta Nissan Cadillac is the home of oil changes for life on any vehicle purchased from us, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty on all new vehicles. We have one of the largest pre owned inventories in South Georgia, the best service department in Valdosta and our parts department can get you anything from wiper blades to tires. So for all your automotive needs, come see me, D-Ray, at Vodafone Nissan Cadillac, or give me a call, 912-599-9564. Go Panthers. Don't miss the Waycross Ware County Public Library's annual OkieCon, a free comics and fandom festival on Saturday, May the 4th. There are activities for all ages, including a kids area, Smash Brothers tournament, play to win board games, cosplay contest, maker crafts, and more. We'll also give away free Comic Book Day 2019 comics while supplies last. For more info, see www.okrls.org. All right, welcome back to Creekbox TV. We're starting in at number two with Tron leading one to nothing. And game three, the winner will advance to the third round of the public school Class A baseball championship. Up for the Panthers will be Darius Dorsey. He is DHing for Landon Allen. And Andy A Allen is the pitcher for Tron. He got in a little jam, loaded the bases with one out, and done a great job to get out of there. Panthers did not get a run. First pitch, a little high, I guess. They're going to call that strike zone. It's going to be close today. They're going to call it tight, I guess. Second pitch on the way, a little outside. Two balls now on Dorsey. It did. Pretty pitch by Allen. Two balls, one strike now. Trying leading one to nothing here. Top of the second. Oh. 
Dorsey will foul that one back. Man, we appreciate it. We got a big crowd up in Tron watching the game, man. Y'all be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new contents on upcoming programs and uh, mostly our live programs like today. We appreciate all y'all tuning in. Three balls now, one strike. All right, try in. I appreciate that. Y'all don't know how much we need that. <laughs> Help me out with these. I can read that one. Dorsey will hit it right back to Allen, and he'll throw him out at first. So Dorsey will get down for the Panthers, and that's going to bring up Langston Hendricks. All right. Trying leading one to nothing. A little high there for Allen. Engel behind the plate doing a good job. I know it's hot with all that equipment on good pitch. Some heat on that one. Hendricks takes a big swing. Michael Mitchell watching from Portland, Michigan. Go Panthers. Well, we appreciate you tuning in to Creek Box. I bet it's a little bit cooler up there than it is here. Good pitch by Allen. Two and two count now. You can tell schools just got out. Brad, looks like the crowd's swelling up a little bit here. Pretty pitch. Got Langston looking on that one. Man. That was a good pitch there by Allen. That's going to be out number two. And that will bring up Thomas Lankford, the left fielder for the Panthers. He's been nursing an injury for the last month. Tough young man. He's going to play, though. Allen already with two strikeouts today. Pretty pitch right down the middle. There goes Lankford. He's going to hit it right to the second baseman. He'll throw it over for out number three. So trying three up, three down. They'll keep the lead. They're leading one to nothing here. We're going to the bottom of the second. We'll be right back. Homerville Feed and Seed can provide nearly all of your farming-related needs, including seed, corn, bulk fertilizer, herbicides, insecticides, and a large variety of other farm products. Evelie and Nick want to remind you that you do not have to shop out of town to find the lowest prices. Our prices are as low or lower than any of those out-of-town companies. Come by and let the friendly staff at Homerville Feed and Seed help you select the farm products you need at the lowest prices around. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength, joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. Lutz, Brown, Tegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Pigler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! All right, we're coming back here at Creek Box TV. Trying, leading one to nothing. Going into the bottom of the second. Let me see if I got some text messages here. It's 48 degrees up in Portland, Michigan. Well, brother, we got you by 40. Well, there's 88 down here. 
Can I get a shake and bake from Bubbles from Sunnyvale Trailer Park? Well, you did, brother. We appreciate you watching. All right. Josh Griffiths on the mound for the Panthers, and we have Andrew Veen. Number 21, he's DHing for J.D. Helms. Good eye by Andrew. Ooh, just will miss on the inside for Josh. Andrew will step back in the box. Oh, good boy. Did it get him? I guess it did. It, it got him. He's going to get hit, so he'll go down to first. Uh, pitch. So that's a good job for trying. They get the leadoff runner on. The leadoff batter, excuse me. Go get this W, boys. Lasorda. Yeah, that's the only one I know, Brad's Tommy Lasorda. Trying, trying to lay down a bunt. And did he get him picked off? He did. That's, that's right. That was Brandon Dover's up the bat. But a great job by Griffiths, or no, by Langston, throwing down the baseline and getting him out. So Dover is up the bat for trying. We have it now. It is one ball and one strike here with one out. Top of the second, or bottom of the second, excuse me. A little high there for Josh. Yeah, I'm telling you, shout out to Blaine for skipping on class for this. Win for us, love Coach Max class. Go Bulldogs from Team Wet Yard, Rome, Georgia. Kalen Willington. I used to live on Shallow Highway. All right. Well, you know right where we at then. When Tim gets here, we'll be able to keep up with more of these. Tex, Dover's up to bat. Good cut there. He'll foul that one off. The winner of this game will advance. These are two evenly matched teams. You can flip a quarter for either one of them. And that'll be a walk. So that'll be Griffiths' first walk today. And that'll put Dover. He'll walk down the baseline all the way to first. And that's going to bring up Noah Edgeworth for trying. Like who? <laughs> hey, Big Daddy Long did. Don Seals there in Statenville. I want to give a shout out to the Valosta at the office at the gas company. Is that right, Brad? When Don moved from Homerville, the IQ went up 20 points here in Homerville. Got out there trying to turn the double. Good job. Noah's will be safe, but they'll get uh, Dover out at second. Two outs now. Don's good fella, man. Uh, uh, he umpired at the rec park for 10 years for me out there. He done a great job coaching and umpiring. A lot of these kids you see on here today played for Don. Good throw down there. Oh, it's going to get by. So Noah will steal, and he'll make it all the way to second here with two outs. And in the number one, uh, Tryon did the same thing. There were two outs, and they come across and scored. Take an early lead. Let 
One ball, no strikes here on uh, it. Uh, we're back at the top here on Colt Trammell. Strike. One and one now. That field pot class, they hard at work watching Creek Box. Appreciate them watching. Blank, uh, Kyle trying to hold it there for the umpire. That umpire's been consistent. It's, his strike zone is a, he's got his box right there and that's if you put it in that box, he'll call a strike. Oh, good pitch in there. He's gonna hit it down to second. Brent's casing over with it for out number three. So the Panthers don't give up no runs there. But trying, still leading. We're coming to the top of the third, one to nothing. Farmers and Merchants Bank in Homerville is ready to meet all of your banking needs. With drive through service, 24-hour ATM, and night depository, we provide the most efficient and service-oriented banking in the area. We are proud to be a part Roll of the Homerville Clinch County community and support all Clinch County athletic teams in their quest to be the best. Go by and see Sam Shaw and all the team at Farmers and Merchants Bank in Homerville to discuss your banking opportunities. Go Panthers! Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Come out to Lolita's for the best cold treats and hot sweets around. You'll be glad you did. Located on Highway 84 East in Homerville, Lolita invites everyone to enjoy our outdoor seating, our New Orleans style snowballs, and fresh mouth-watering beignets. Don't forget. All right, Tim, back with me now. All right, thank the Lord, son. <laughs> you can take the saddle off. I'm tired of riding you. All right, leading off for the Panthers here in the third. Warren Stovall, first baseman, takes first pitch a little low from Andy Allen. I've been in the south part of the county all day and it is raining down there. I hope it stays there. Stovall heading the count. Well, they say it's 1 1. I thought it was 2 0. Oh. That's a strike. So it's going to be a ball and two strikes to Warren. I was just backwards. Apologize, folks. We'll even it up two and two. Allen played short most of last night. Did a good job at short. Came in a relief in the first game. Two and two count to the leadoff batter here in the second. Leadoff hitter Warren Stovall. Playing first today. We'll make it a full count. Warren pitched. Most of game one yesterday, came up on the short end of that uh, Panther or trying victory. We'll take that one upstairs so he's able to coax a walk out of Allen to start off here in the third. Jalen Griffith, center fielder, is going to be the next batter. Trying scored one in the bottom of the first, take a one nothing lead, and that's where we stand here, here in the top of the third. It's deciding game three of the second round. The winner of this goes to the Elite Eight and plays the winner of Bacon Charter and Bowden. Bowden won game one. Game two, Bacon was in the lead, but it, it had a rain delay. They haven't heard what happened. They had to finish it today. Big curveball. Then a check swings, but it's a strike. Oh, it feels good in here, Tim. Yeah, it's a little muggy out there. Let's see. I got... Good luck to the Panthers from Riley, Callie, and Natalie. 
right. Swing and a miss, thrown behind the runner. Stovall gets back. An attempted bunt by Griffiths comes up empty and almost hung Stovall out to drive, but he's able to get back just ahead of the throw from Engel. Watching for our number seven from the CO again today. I think that's out in Colorado. We had a text from them last night. Thanks Live for ball. making it possible. Hit towards center field. Center fielder's going to camp under it, and Trammell makes the catch for the first out of the inning. We got a lot of people watching today, Tim. Go Bulldogs from Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles. We appreciate them taking time to tune in. And <laughs> Let's go, Brandon, Cameron, Joey, and Chandler. Number five, Duncan Lutz coming up. Duncan's playing uh, third base today. Ball good block by Angle. A little low. Did a fine job keeping that in front of him. Allen did Keep a great job first. in the first inning, Tim. He got the bases loaded, one out, man, and he pitched out of it. The Panthers, I was watching on the way up here. Somebody hit a ball pretty deep to center field, but they made a big catch. They did. Let's fouls that one out of play to even at one and one. And yeah, you're right. It's a good-looking crowd up there. Parked all the way around the corner, back around to, to uh, Johnny Morgan's house. Yeah, school's out now. They're filling up. Snap back. Got a few more minutes, I think. I think some of them have checked out a little early. Shout out to my cousin, Cahill Jenkins. Love you. Good luck. Khalil. From Diamond Williams. We had a big crowd last night, Tim. We had over 2,000 people. Watching? Yeah. 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 Have to ask for a raise, won't we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Panthers, from a Kayla Murray. Right, we appreciate it. Swing and a miss by in. Lutz. Evens the count at two here. One out in the third. Run on first. One stove ball. Open the inning with a walk. Oh, Ground no. ball back at the pitcher. Allen knocks it down. Is able to recover. Get stove all at first. Or get Lutz at first. But stove all advances to second on the fielder's choice. Listening from Gatlinburg, go Panthers. Let's win this, boys, from Emily, Shasta, Levi, Maddox, and Shelby. We love you, 10 and 7. Shout out to White from Jim Lee. All right. We'll make two outs here in the third. Bring up cleanup hitter for the Panthers. Number three, catcher Kyle Hendricks. Kyle had a good pickoff there in the, on, on the top of the bottom of the second there. He did. Through behind the runner. Big curveball by Allen. Good looking pitch. Falls in there for a strike. Go Panthers watching from U University of Florida Hospital. Go Gators. Bailey. All right, Bailey. Bailey told. Bailey's doing good. Sorry the other day walking. Tough. That's going to be a tough play. You're not going to be able to get Kyle, fair. I don't think. Late throw. Oh, he threw it away. That's going to get us a run. That's going to tie it up, Tim. Get, get a run for the Panthers. That's going to even it up right there. Ball was hit. With Kyle speed, anything hit like that, it's going to be a tough play. And it was fielded late by Allen. Allen turning through the first. And ball sailed on him a little bit. Went over to first baseman's head. And that allowed Stovall, who was running with two outs, to come around and score. So that's going to tie it up here. Make it one apiece here in the third. Yeah, good job by Kyle. Say that, and they, we got a text right. Temperley says, hit me a right. dinger, Kyle. Roll red rope. And I think that's what you'd call that one. <laughs> Shout out to Langston. Good luck from Carson. That's Langston's sister. We got a courtesy runner for the catcher, Kyle Hendricks. Speed up rules in high school if you get two outs. You, they encourage you to, to get a uh, runner. That's going to be like Andrew Creer down at second, our courtesy runner today. So the Panthers evened it up at one apiece. Run on second, two outs here. Number 17, Brent Kaysen steps in. And I know his papa's watching from Nashville. Tim, if y'all know any scores, let me and Tim know. We'd love to get some updates around the area. Start filling in our bracket. I'd like to hear what our Irwin and Telfair have done in our region as they've played around. And Wilcox playing around in the. Shout out to John Boy from Clinch. Yeah. yeah. Outside, it's going to even up at one apiece. 
Let's go Panthers, cheering you on from Lee Container. I think we got everybody. They're not getting much done at Brockway and Lee Container today, Tim. <laughs> you can see it's muggy, cut. folks. You can see people fanning in the stands. It's just thick. The air is thick out there today. A lot of moisture around, and it's just thick. Coach Doug's fourth block class is watching and yelling, roll red, roll. Ball and two strikes to Brent's Casey. Looking to try to add to the inning the Panthers have had, just getting one run so far. Allen keeping a close check on Creer. Coach Douglas sometimes with the ball and two strikes and two outs like to put his Likes to put the runner in motion to see if he can manufacture a run. Oh, Ball hit the right one. field toward I French Casey. Out. Nope, right to Right him. at Woody out there in right field. So Panthers are out here in the third inning, but not before they pick up a run to tie it up. We played two and a half in Homerville, and it's tie, all tied up at one apiece. Shack Cafe is now open in Pearson, Georgia. For the best breakfast and lunch buffets in South Georgia, check out the Shack Cafe. You can dine in, order takeout, or use our fast and efficient drive through We have a wide variety of meals, sandwiches, and burgers. Oh yeah, and after breakfast and lunch at the Shack Cafe, drive on over to the Country Cabin Steakhouse for dinner. Just off the Pearson Douglas Highway, we are known for the best steaks and seafood in South Georgia. And don't forget, the Country Cabin Steakhouse can host all of your holiday parties, events, and meals. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, Easy Go, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We have a great game here. Game number three, it's all tied up one to one. Trying in Clinch County. Andy Allen, pitcher, leading off for the Bulldogs. Hits a fly ball right down the right field. field line. Long run for Langston. Oh, I think, I think it's going to fall foul. foul. Good swing. Almost, Tim, with it a was. pretty hit. That would have been a double down the line if it fell. But just fell outside the line for a long strike. Watching the game from Trine High School. Go dogs. Go Panthers from Corey Cameron. And shout out, shout out from Doe's Daddy and CJ. Go Lank, dog, whoever that is. Big curveball by Griffiths. Falls in her first strike. Good looking pitch. So Allen's in the hole, 0 and 2 here to lead off the bottom of the third. All right, we got Going one. Outside and low block, good block by Kyle. Play hard, Will Bo, and go dogs from Brianna, Brittany, Brooklyn, Gabby, Daniel, and Mrs. McCain's class. Shout out to Khalil Jenkins from Coach Spivey's fourth block class. Tim ain't getting nothing done in school today at Trine and Clinch. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> Especially after 2 o'clock. Yeah. I think there's uh, 15 days of school left here in Clinch. Well, that's right. Uh, usually the last two weeks is... They start breaking out their movies. That's it. <laughs> Walking around the pond. Yeah. Good Ground pitch. ball hit towards short. Dunk, oh, Dunk cuts it off. Long Good. throw to first. Man, what a throw. Don't make a play. Duncan took probably a base hit away as that ball was hit in the Man. hole. So, nice play by Duncan Lutz to take a base hit away from Allen. First out here in the third. Duncan at 6'5", covers a lot of ground. Yeah, we got a bunch of shout-outs. 
I bring think. up second baseman number nine, Hagen Willingham. Oh, and that got him on his Cost elbow. Him on the elbow, so that's the second time that's happened today for uh, Josh. So Tryon's in business with a runner on here. We'll bring up big catcher, thirteen Briar Engel. Watching the game from Lake Winnie, go dog from Selena. Conley, Jessica Baker, and Amanda Maddox. Watching from Conversation Coach. here with the umpire walking down toward first. Let's see what we got going on here. Watching from Coach Barrett's office. Let's go, dogs. Shout out to my hero, Colin H. Thinking that possibly they thought maybe he was in the strike zone when the ball hit him. Whose call is that? Would that be the first base umpire team? No, no, no. It's, it's the it's the home plate umpire, but Coach Coach Douglas may have asked. They came over and explained to him that he wasn't in the strike zone, my guess. So Engel will stand in here. One out and runner at first. Big curveball chopped toward second. Double play. Landon Allen. Oh. oh. <clears throat> he hit by Stovall, but he'll hold him there. Landon Allen steps on the bag to get the lead runner. Throws to first. The ball just... Evades Warren Stovall's glove, so Ingles is first with that fielder's choice. Go with Panthers. two outs. Go Prince. Papa is watching from Nashville. Thanks, Creek Box. You guys are doing a great job, Pastor Casey. We appreciate that. Appreciate you tuning in. And glad you're liking the broadcast. If you don't like us, you can just turn yeah. down the volume and That's watch right. the picture. That's right. Lane Woody now, your right fielder. Lane pitched a, a good game last night for a couple innings, and he had a had a little yeah. problem with his control, but did a good job. He's, he's been a, a very vital part of them the entire series. Throw over by Griffiths. Took Stovall a little bit off balance, and he had to use Willingham for a pillow when he sat down. Call for a strike. Chopper, that's a high chopper in front of the plate. Got him. Josh Tim. Griffiths fields his position, throws it to Warren Stovall to end. The threat here, so we played three complete here in Homerville. We're all tied up at one apiece. You're watching Creek Box TV. Camping World of Eldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Hi guys, my name is Nick Johnson. I'm the new pastor of Homerville Free Will Baptist Church, and I just moved here with my family from Oklahoma. Boomer! Say no. Sometimes life throws you some difficult things, and when it happens, it can seem scary, almost make you feel like you're all alone. I want you to know that if God is with you, then you can make it through anything. The Word of God says that He will never leave us, He will never forsake us. He will go before us. If you give your life to Him, He'll help you make it through those difficult times, and on the other side, you will be blessed. I'm so blessed to be here in Homerville. We love the town, love the people. Go Panthers! Yeah. All right, Tim, we're all tied up, brother. Yeah, Great game. Tied up here, game moving along quickly in top of the fourth. Leading off for the Panthers is number 15, Josh Griffiths, your pitcher today. Big, good-looking pitch by Allen. Just must have missed the outside corner. Court Cameron is a true Bulldog fan. Kyle loves Clinch County. 
High fly ball in the infield. First baseman calling for it. Camps under it. Makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Let's go dogs. Coach Gentry's class. On a field trip. Watch him because we can't miss the Panthers. Roll red roll. Go bingo for Michael Cook. Head start is watching Creek Box. Go Panthers. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Darius Dorsey, DH, steps in next for the Panthers. Again, he's hitting for a short or a short stop for the Panthers. Landon Allen. Pretty pitch. Good looking pitch by Andy Allen for a strike. He's got he's had good command today. He's been right around the strike zone. Good breaking pitch. Fouled out of play. Good cut. As has the clinch pitcher. Josh Griffith's done a good job too around the plate. Two two pretty even pitchers. Man, two Actually, even two pretty teams. even teams yeah. as, as the series has played out. Scores aren't really indicative of how close the games were. A little low. Y'all, uh, if y'all know any other scores between any of the Class A teams, give us a shout out so we can keep everybody up to. Or any scores, double yeah, A, or whatever. That's we'll, right. We'll, we'll pass them along. He cut. Dorsey comes up empty. Strikeout number three for Allen today for trying. So with two outs here in the fourth, Clinch is going to send up a right fielder, 22, to Langston Hendricks. He's one of the several seniors Clinch has, six, I believe, six that, six, six that play regularly. But other than that, there's a couple more that help out running and things of that nature. Pretty pitch. On the corner for a strike. See people drinking that water, that uh, gives you an idea how hot it is up there. It is hot. It's just steamy. It is hot. Now, when you walk up around that grill where they're cooking them good hamburgers, yeah. it's hot. You know, those, those metal bleachers reflect the heat, I'm too. It, you. It, it makes it a little warmer sitting on them. It blocks that air. Good job. Swing cut. and a miss. We'll make it a ball and two strikes. Allen making quick work of the Panthers here in the fourth. One to one ball game. Langston will foul that one back. Fouled out of play. Langston stays alive. Good pitch. Good, good pitcher's pitch by Allen. Down and out of the strike zone. Langston's able to just get enough of it to stay alive. Please say yeet yeet potato soup from Clinch County High. All right, we got it in. They've sent that in several times. Brad finally made me say it. <laughs> And that sun's coming Swing out and a miss. There it is. Strikeout number four for Allen. Comes up empty. So the Panthers are going order here in the fourth. We played three and a half in Homerville, and we're all knotted up at one. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. You're watching Creek Box TV. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at all right, welcome back to the bottom of the fourth. We are all tied up here in game three, one to one. Looking at some scores off the GHSA bracket. Uh, yesterday, Ace Charter beat 
Irwin 3-2 in game one. Irwin came back in game two and won 13-3. Tail Fair played Sly, and Sly won 4-3 in both games, so Sly advances. Commerce and Pelham splits. They're playing game three today. Mm. Big curveball from Griffiths, a little high and inside to lead off batter for the Bulldogs. It'll be number four, first baseman, Will White. Oh, he's Fly ball hit, hit toward left high. field. Looks like Duncan Lutz is going to camp under it for the first out of the inning. Man, I'm glad that sun went back up under them clouds. When it pops out, it jumps up about 10 degrees. We got somebody in Michigan watching mm -hmm. today, man, and 48 degrees in Michigan. Johnson County swept Hawkinsville, 8-1 and one nothing. Next batter for um, Bulldogs, number 21 to DH, Andrew Venn. He's hitting for first baseman J.D. Helms. First pitch taken for a ball. Line oh, drive hit toward hit. the right field. That's it's going to get through. So, Vin's aboard with a base hit. Another shout out. Go Panthers. Courtesy runner at first or pinch runner at first. The one, DH. One to one, Tim. That next batter is going to be number seven. Shortstop for the Bulldogs, Brandon Dover. We don't have the score up tonight. One of our uh, cameras have went out. So that's why we don't have the score up on the screen. So we'll try to remember and keep announcing that for you. Wilcox and Seminole looks like they split. They're playing game three today. Hard Line hit. drive hit toward third. It's going to fall. Like it's going to get through. So trying's in business with back-to-back -back hits here in the in the fourth. Trying to break this tie. Good solid base hit by Dover between short and third. That's going to bring up number 30, left fielder Noah Edgeworth. He's going to be batting with one out here. Middle innings of the game. Decisive game three. The winner moves on to the Elite Eight. Play the winner of Bacon and Bowden. Foul back. Yep. These are two evenly matched teams. Game three. Oh. One to one here in the bottom of the fourth. It's kind of went quick. Game three has. We're halfway through this thing. Both pitchers throwing strikes. Defense been pretty good. Topper hit back to Josh. Josh going to throw the third. He's going to get the lead runner. That'll so be out number two. Second out. So Dover or Edgeworth taps back to the mound. Griffiths is able to get the lead runner at third for the second out. All right. Back at the top of the order. We're going to bring up center fielder Colt Tramble, number one. Takes a curveball outside. Trying with back-to-back -back singles here with one out. Yeah. Go Panthers. We're getting ticks all in. Panthers ever get the, the next better on a comebacker to the mound. That's right. With two outs here and two on. One one count to Trammel. All tied up. One one here in the bottom of the fourth. It's kind of like game one, Tim. It's just uh, no scoring. It's going to come down like you say. Who makes theirs? Errors and walks. Fly, short fly ball in left field. Left fielder's camped under it. Lankford to get Lankford's it. Lankford's going to make the catch. So we played four complete here in Homerville, and we're still knotted up at one. Valdosta Orthopedic Associates has been setting the standard in South Georgia for quality orthopedic and medical care for over 25 years. 
We don't get to choose when injury or illness will strike, but when they do, the board certified physicians here will work hard to make sure you recover as soon as possible. Remember, Valdosta Orthopedic Associates has a walk-in clinic where you can get help quick and special bumps and bruises clinic where middle school and high school athletes can get the best of treatment even on Saturday mornings after the game. Valdosta Orthopedic Associates, Valdosta, Georgia. Alright, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We are in the top of the fifth with the score tied one to one. Good pitchers duel between Andy Allen for the Bulldogs and Josh Griffiths for the Pan Panthers. Tom Langford leading off the fifth. Dang, the fifth already. It is I'm jetting along you. here. Tom left fielder, senior, number one. He is uh he is a uh, three year starter. Nursing an injury, like we told you earlier. He's going to lay down a bunt. Lay down a bunt. Is it going to be fair? I think it's going to roll just foul. You know, usually when he bunts, he's, good he's got a good set of wheels on him. It's he hard does. to throw him out. Look like when he came out of the box, he knew it was going to be foul. He pulled up after a couple steps. Watching all the way from Jacksonville. We appreciate you tuning in. Getting late in the game, runs are going to be at a premium now. A run here and there could make the difference in the uh, – Who's going to go home happy and who's going to have a long face? I'm telling you. Good Swing pitch. and miss on a great curveball by Allen. See Coach Barber back today behind the plate. Yeah, he was running a little late. David was hollering at him. He pulled up about the same time you did. You and Coach Barber weren't together, were you? No. <laughs> hey. Ground ball hit. Slow, soft roller to the shortstop. Long throw to first. Oh, He's going to get him. him. Fine play by the shortstop to get Stovall, who's pretty good. pretty fleet with, with his feet, but Dover makes a nice play. Good job by the first baseman to get up and stretch and get that. It sure was. So, so uh, Allen is able to get the first batter out in the fifth. It's going to send the Panthers back to the top of the order. First baseman, Warren Stovall, number eight. Go class of 2019. Play hard. Love your Clinch County senior class. We appreciate you sending that in. Big curve ball, taking a little high. Tim, I just got a text, rain alert. Rain will begin at 310. Mm. It's 303. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope they're wrong. Maybe yeah. you're talking about uh, some other See, you know, a lot time of time zone. When it comes into Clinch County, it'll send you that alert all right. over. The Clinch County is the third biggest county, I think, in the state. Land it is. You can be... Well, you said it would rain in Fargo, didn't you? It always rains in Fargo. You get down there on that swamp. I'm talking about it was – tell you how crazy it was. It was raining in, in the Fargo Mall or Metropolitan Fargo yeah. Mall. And uh, uh, half a mile down the road at, at, the, at the river, it wasn't even raining. But I'm talking about it was – wherever, wherever it rains, it rains hard. But it's not, right. not big areas. But that's the way it's going to be. Today. It's sporadic, just hit or miss showers, what they said. Koval, uh, Koval. Stovall coaxes a walk out of Allen here, so one out walk. It's going to bring up number seven, Jalen Griffiths, who's your center fielder. Allen's shown a real good curveball. It's induced a lot of pop ups. Another good Ground pitch. ball towards second. Second Double base, play. Willingham flips to second. Mm. It's a shortstop, and Dover can't quite get it out in time, so Stovall is recorded as an out on that ground ball to second. Here in a second out. Tied ball game, one to one. Jalen the top Griffith, of the fifth. Jalen Griff reaches first on the fielder's choice of two outs here. We've got the number three hitter in the order for the Panthers. That's going to be number five, Duncan Lutz, third baseman. Man, he went four for four in game two last night, Tim. Two doubles and a triple. Duncan had a nice play in the top half of the inning. Good curveball by Allen, taking a little low by Lutz. Rooting for our Panther family, Ray, Cheryl, Landon, and Vanessa Hallen. We appreciate y'all tuning in, darling. 
Another good curveball. Let's can't connect with it. That evens a count at one apiece. Both teams a little flat today offensively, having a hard time getting things going. It was like that good in game pitch. one. It's just uh, that might be due to the pitching too. Yeah, that's I think that's got a lot to do with it, Tim. It's unusual both these teams are deep in pitching. A lot of times you get to a third game of a, a tied series like this, it can get more of a looking like a football game. Boy, that's probably one of the highest toppers I've seen. He's safe at second. Oh, oh and Duncan's going to be safe at first, Tim. That ball's a high hopper, and the shortstop got the second to step on the bag. It was a step late and had to hurry to throw the first. And the first baseman tried to come up with it. It, had, it made the pick, but then it popped out of his glove, so... Lutz is aboard. Panthers have two on here. Go dogs! all the way from Kingsport, Tennessee. We'll bring up Kyle Hendricks, the catcher for the Panthers. First and second, two outs here. Tied up at one in the top of the fifth. And both teams have scored their only run with two outs. <laughs> it always seems that way. Well, it is. They both were due to some errant throws on on ball, so Kyle takes a strike. Game start time. We have Bowden at four and Wilcox at five and Irwin at 5.30 today, Tim. The curveball 0-2. So they're playing later in the afternoon. They yeah. probably had some problems drying the field. Yeah, I they imagine. got a lot of rain yesterday. Yeah, I think everything west of 75 was pretty well underwater. So we we'll probably won't get any of those scores when this one's over as fast as it's going. Of course, no. then again, we might be playing still. Yeah. We're all tied That's up. That's the way we're going here, these two teams, you know, one to one here in the fifth. One and two to Kyle Hendricks. Panthers are two men on. Andy Allen trying to shut off the damage here. Good, Good job block. by the catcher, Tim. Well, it was a great job by Angle behind the plate. They had to froze the runner, so two and two here. Pivotal inning in the game. I want to give a shout out to Miss Lisa. She's at home recovering. We were here hoping and praying we might have some potato salad. Yeah. She'll make up for it, yeah. Come football season. Well, maybe next week. <laughs> Ground ball hit back to the oh, pitcher. Look out and out, Tim. Ball got by the pitcher, but the shortstop field it stepped on the bag at second, so that threat has ended. So we played four and a half in Homerville, and we're still tied at one. Valdosta Nissan Cadillac is the home of oil changes for life on any vehicle purchased from us, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty on all new vehicles. We have one of the largest pre-owned inventories in South Georgia, the best service department in Valdosta, and our parts department can get you anything from wiper blades to tires. So for all your automotive needs, come see me, D-Ray, at Bought Off the Nissan Cadillac, or give me a call, 912-599-9564. Go Panthers. Don't miss the Waycross Ware County Public Library's annual OkiCon, a free comics and fandom festival on Saturday, May the 4th. There are activities for all ages, including a kids' area Smash Brothers tournament, play to win board games, cosplay contest, maker crafts, and more. We'll also give away free Comic Book Day 2019 comics while supplies last. For more info, see www.okrls.org. Homerville Feed and Seed can provide nearly all of your farming related needs, including seed corn, bulk fertilizer, herbicides, insecticides, and a large variety of other farm products. Evelie and Nick want to remind you that you do not have to shop out of town to find the lowest prices. Our prices are as low or lower than any of those out-of-town companies. Come by and let the friendly staff at Homerville Feed and Seed help you select the farm products you need at the lowest prices around. All right, Tim, we're back here in the bottom of the fifth with the score tied one-to-one. -one. Andy Allen, pitcher for the Trine Bulldogs, leading off. Ground ball hit toward third. Lutz up with it. Long throw to first to Stovall. Got it. Allen's retired. First pitch 
ground ball to third. So Josh Griffith's doing a good job throwing strikes here. Tim, we got Eating three hits innings. in this game. Tryon has two, and the Panthers have one. Well, both teams, even though Clinch stayed at home last night, got in their beds early, they had to get up and go to school, so they did probably got about as much sleep as Tryon did. He was able to sleep in a little bit. Hagen Willingham, second baseman, number nine. A little, a little bit outside. Just inside, off the plate. Puts Griffiths behind, 2-0. and oh. Swing oh, and a miss, boy. fouled off his kneecap. That Man, always, I know that hurt. That always catches your attention. Let's go Panthers from Candy. Man, y'all see the commercials we're playing here at Creek Boxing. They make it possible. If any of y'all... Would like to do an ad here on Creek Box. If you'll get a hold of me and Tim, we'll be glad to hook you up. Number is 912-550-5039. I'll give a shout out to all our sponsors here in a little bit when we get a break in the game. We'll come back early. One inning, we hadn't been able to do that. We're still catching up. So we appreciate it. Two and one on the batter here. One out. Oh, Ground ball hit, hit toward third. Got to get through. So. Hit number three for trying. Seems like all the hits they've had have gone just about in the same general place between short and third. Griffiths was behind in the count, two and one, and uh, Willingham turned on that fastball. Gives trying a base runner here, one out in the fifth. That's going to bring up the big catcher, number 13, Briar Engel. Good block. Keeps the ball in front. Fine job by Hendricks there. You know, Tim, and the losers, the season's over, and they've been playing, what, since February? Yeah. The baseball's yeah. a long sport. It is. And both these teams here, you, really, you hate to see either team lose. They've both right. played a good, done a good job in this series. They're evenly matched, and, you know, that's what playoff baseball's supposed to be. You shouldn't have any big run rules and that kind of thing. And all the teams, all the playoff games have been about like that. A lot of them went to game three. Right, especially you get to the second round. Now you should, you're starting to get That's the field. Another hard. Prince of the long run. Good job, it sure man. Is. I, I've seen the most balls hit high in the air like off that ground. It tells you just how dry it is down here. Casey's able to make the play. He had to turn his body to make that throw there, Tim. That was a great job by Brent Casey. That's going to allow Willington, Willingham to get down to second. So two outs here in the fifth. Tryon has a runner in scoring position. And uh, Blaine Woody, the right fielder, number 15, steps in the box. We are a tied ball game here in the bottom of the fifth, one to one. Big curveball, just low. A lot of movement on that curve today for sure Josh. Was, sure was, sure was. Good break to it. Big grand slam the last game of the regular season right. Josh did. Both curveballs look almost identical from both pitchers. Big breaking curveball. Ooh. A little low. So Woody's ahead to count 2-0. and oh. Trying looking to break the tie here with the potential go-ahead run at second base. Got to give a shout-out to Miss Medley Fortner, a DuPont neighbor there. Sitting in the bleachers. That's a line drive up the middle. No. Oh, yep. and it's going to fall. And here comes the throw to the plate from Jalen Griffiths. I think it's going to be late. It is. So He's trying safe. able to take the lead. Two to one on the clutch base hit by Blaine Woody up the middle. Great job. That was hit right back, Tim, right over it second it base. Was. It was hit. The line drive up the middle. Short swing. Compact Jaylen, swing. Uh, tried to get it in. Made a decent throw. That I didn't think that'd even be a close play at home, but there was. Well, with two outs, runners moving on contact. Ball's hit pretty hard, too, now. It wasn't like it was yeah. a looper. It was a solid line drive out there. So Tryon takes the lead, 2-1. Now we've got up number four, Will White. Would it first? Fouled off. Tryon's bats have woke up. That's three hits this inning, Tim. 
two. I'm I'm sorry, two hits this mm -hmm. inning. But they had two last inning too. That's right. They're starting to offensively starting to wake up a little bit. Fouled off. Good pitch. Good swing. Yeah, I played with the coach in college. You know, if, you, if it was the third inning, we weren't hitting. He'd walk down the fence and just kick every bat. So he was trying to wake them up. That's right. Kick them all out. And, not on the field, but in the dugout. Good pitch by Griff. Low and inside. Wyatt's able, able to fend it off, stay alive. Bottom of the fifth, trying just broke the tie with his RBI single from Woody. Two to one now. Oh, Fly ball. Hard. Hit towards center field. Jalen Griffith's going to back up. He calls for it and makes the catch. So Wyatt flies out deeply to center field for the third out of the inning, but Tryon comes up with a clutch RBI single from Blaine Woody. It's going to give them the lead after five innings, two to one. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength, joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. Lutz, Brown, Tegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Pigler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Farmers and Merchants Bank in Homerville is ready to meet all of your banking needs. With drive through service, 24-hour ATM, and night depository, we provide the most efficient and service-oriented banking in the area. We are proud to be a part of the Homerville Clinch County community and support all Clinch County athletic teams in their quest to be the best. Go by and see Sam Shaw and all the team at Farmers and Merchants Bank in Homerville to discuss your banking opportunities. Go Panther! All right, welcome back to Creek Spot TV. We're here in Game Three in Homerville with Tryon taking a two-to-one lead here in the bottom of the six. Tim, right-hander Andy Al Andy Allen is pretty well handcuffed the Panthers today. He's just throwing strikes, doing a good job. Quickly hit 0-2 on Brent's Case, the second baseman for the Panthers. Trying to six out the way from a. Advancing, Tim. Getting late in the game. Round ball hit toward first. That's second baseman makes a dive in play, but Cason's able to squirt one through the hole between first and second. So Clinch is trying to answer the run. Trying to score there in the bottom of the fifth. So Cason's on with, with a one out single. Pitcher Josh Griffiths is going to come up, number 15. Pretty good pitch by Allen. Uh, it was. Brent just did a good job of. Uh, keeping his hands back and driving it through the hole. Second baseman made a great effort, but couldn't quite hem it up. Uh, it's only the second hit today for the Panthers. Yeah. Little low one outside. Mandy Allen. Snap throw to first. Casing it back in time. That was a good quick move. By Allen. Ooh, a little high. Up and inside. This is really the first bit of trouble Allen's been in, which isn't a whole lot yet. But. Pretty pitch. 
taken for a strike. Griff's ahead two and one. There's a school bus. School's getting out now. Yeah. It's officially out. Yep. You can tell some of the text messages have died down, Tim. Yeah, they all <laughs> they rambling. Head, headed to the Dairy Queen That's now. right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. So now Allen falls behind three and one to clinch pitcher Josh Griffiths. Rince Kaysen opened the six with a single. High fly ball down to right down over toward the first base dugout. Had to go foul, I think, Tim. Looks like we no. may have a catch. Well, the coach comes out of the dugout. Let's see. Let's read, let me. I don't know how Some you can mess that call what's up. Going on. Well, Either you it, catch it or you don't. Unless it contacted something. Oh, okay. I think they may say it came off the fence and he called it maybe. The screen, maybe, my guess. Yeah, the, you know, the Panthers got a new screen up, yeah. so apparently if it makes contact, it's Dead automatically ball. foul ball. That's, that's foul ball. But now Gonna the coach. ask for help here and see. I don't, I, it'd be hard for him to override that, but anything's possible. That is a big play there, too, for trying. Well, that that's a big is. out. Yeah, it is. That, oh, that would put, uh, still give uh, Josh another swing. Trying to lead in here two to one here in the bottom of the six in game three. I think we're going to leave it like it is, Tim. Yeah, Josh will come back up to bat. Yeah, Miss Melanie's clapping her hands. I guess he's still alive. He is, but that's going to make it a full count now. Fine effort by the catcher and first baseman to come up with a play, but must have just contacted the net. Which killed it. Swing and a miss. And he got him. No, he's calling foul ball. Oh, did he get a All right, he got a piece of it. Yeah. Oh. Just enough angle looks like he thinks he should have had that if he didn't catch it cleanly. He's able to hang on to it cleanly. It'd be strike three, but when it came loose, that's going to give Griffiths another swing. Ground ball foul. Man, he's, he's still alive. He's thrown about 15 pitches to yeah. Griffiths right here, Tim. Andy Allen for the Bulldogs doing a great job today. Limited the Panthers. You say two hits, Allen? Yeah, Panthers only have two hits. Two hits through uh, here through five complete and just getting started in the sixth. So. Sly ball. High. Hit behind third. Shortstop's going to camp under. It's going to make the catch for the first out of the inning. So oh. out number one, Tim. Yeah. Allen's able to coax a pop-up out of Griffiths to short. It's going to bring up number two, Darius Dorsey. D.H. is hitting for Landon Allen. Clint shortstop. Oh, two to one, trying. Panthers trying to answer back here in the six. Curve ball from Allen, taking a little bit inside by Dorsey. Trying to run three good starters out there. Mm, pretty pitch. Left-hander Woody and right-hander in game one. Logan Bicknell, fly ball out of play. They've shown to have a deep staff here. Don't see I have two strikes on him now. Ball and two strikes to Darius Dorsey. Clinch County DH. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That's two outs now. Another strikeout recorded for Allen. That's going to bring up, may have a pinch hitter, I think, here. Where's the pinch hitter we got? Is that going to be Gabe Morris? And that is. Morris will come to the plate. Panthers got the leadoff batter on first, but now a good job by Allen and trying to shut them down. Oh, 
Langston will probably re-enter. Oh, he may put may put him out there in the right. I'm not sure. So Gabe Morris coming up with two outs here and runner on here in the sixth. Since desperately trying to get answer the uh, run that Tryon scored in the fifth to take that two to one lead. Heard Big curveball. Allen's had that curveball locked in today now. He's done just a fantastic job. He's, I don't think he's thrown many of those curveballs that weren't a strike, were they? No. Foul back, straight up in the air. The catcher's going to camp under and make and the catch. Got so, out. so Gabe Morris pops up to the catcher for the third out here in the sixth. And we played five and a half, trying holding a two to one lead. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom, well, that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Come out to Lolita's for the best cold treats and hot sweets around. You'll be glad you did. Located on Highway 84 East in Homerville, Lolita invites everyone to enjoy our outdoor seating, our New Orleans-style snowballs, and fresh mouth-watering beignets. Don't forget our tasty chili dogs. For your convenience, Lolita's is open Monday through Saturday from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Come cool off or heat up at Lolita's, East Highway 84 in Homerville. Shack Cafe is now open in Pearson, Georgia. For the best breakfast and lunch buffets in South Georgia, check out the Shack Cafe. You can dine in, order takeout, or use our fast and efficient drive-thru. We have a wide variety of meals, sandwiches, and burgers. Oh yeah, and after breakfast and lunch at the Shack Cafe, drive on over to the Country Cabin Steakhouse for dinner. Just off the Pearson Douglas Highway, we are known for the best steaks and seafood in South Georgia. And don't forget, the Country Cabin Steakhouse can host all of your holiday parties, events, and meals. All right, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We are here in the bottom of the six with Tryon ahead two to one. I got to give a shout out. Winky just texted me, said, Mama and Nanny's up there getting Nanny's hair done. All right. Watching at the beauty shop. You got a change on pitching for the Panthers, Duncan Lutz. Senior right hander coming in. Here in the sixth, I saw some action down in the bullpen for the uh, trying Bulldogs as well. They still had a starter from game one who's available. I want to give us, you see uh, Josh's mama, Miss Emily, up there chewing gum. I know if we could keep up with how she wore that gum out today. <laughs> she don't well, miss a game. starts out with a strike to Andrew Venn. Well, I tell you, that's the first time Lutz has been on the mound in a while, ain't it, Tim? That's the opening game of the season. Duncan, a pretty much a power pitcher. Going to Georgia State next year. Ben fouls it back, so Lutz is ahead. No balls and two strikes. He's trying to shut down the Bulldogs and keep it at keep it at two to one. Pretty pitch. Big curveball fouled off. Ben, ben stays alive. Another great game here. Well, just like the first one, Tim. It is a nail biter. Swing and a miss. So let's record this first strikeout. Somebody who that fell down. That they were throwing it around and ball was a little bit errant and rinsed. Yeah. He had to hit the dirt, didn't he? Number seven, shortstop. Brandon Dover comes up with one out in the sixth here. Facing the tall right hander for the Panthers. Dover's done a good job at shortstop. Today made some fine plays. 
swing and a miss. Man, hard pitch in there by Duncan. Yeah, Duncan's got good velocity. He's, he's been clocked in the mid to upper 80s when he's right. I'm not sure exactly how how much he's got right now. Pretty wow, what a pitch. curveball. Man, boy, that thing fell out the sky. So Dunks ahead 0-2 here and trying shortstop. Foul ball up against the net on the right to third base side. Two to one ball game. Trying to lead the Panthers here in game three. The winner will move on. Round ball hit toward third. Josh Griffiths with it. Got him. Throws it over to Stovall for the second out of the inning. So Lutz has come in and done what they'd hoped he would do so far. Going to bring up number 30, Noah Edgeworth, the left fielder. Two outs here in the sixth. Trying to look and add to the two-to-one lead they've got. Clinch County comes up in the seventh. Their backs are against the wall. Season riding on that inning. Foul back by Edgeworth. That sun's peeking out now, Tim. Yeah. Ground ball hit towards short. Good Allen job by Griffiths. Allen. Oh, did he Griffith. beat it out? Griffiths is there, but Safe. not quick enough. Boy. Edgeworth hustles down the line and legs out an infield single. And he can fly, Tim. He can, because that ball was a, wasn't yeah. quite routine, but it wasn't hit all that that uh hard either. Stovall thought it was uh, out number three. So uh, right. Bang, bang, play at first. Goes Trine's way. So Trine's still alive here. Two outs. In the sixth, back at the top of the order with Colt Trammell, center fielder. And this is when all the points have been scored. Two outs. High chopper toward first. Oh. Stovall makes the play. He's going to flip the Lux. Oh, and got him. Makes Boy, the play. play. That was a fine play. That could have been a disaster for the Panthers, but a fine combination play there between Stovall with the catch, flipping the Lutz. We played six complete, coming back for the seventh, trying with a two-to-one lead. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. You're watching Creek Box TV. What? Well, Tim, we're back here trying to three outs away from advancing to the third round of the Class A public school p- playoffs. 33, Andy Allen still on the mound. He's given up two hits, I think, through six innings. Yeah. Done a fantastic job. Panthers hadn't had but four runners on base today. Had three of them were in the first inning. So, uh, Thomas Langford hoping to keep Clinch County's season alive. He leads off the top of the seventh. The left fielder. Clinch looking at, at a two-to-one deficit. Well, the rally caps are turned around for the Panthers now. They have to have it. They're back in the corner. Thomas squares up the bunt. Shows bunt a little early. Takes the first pitch up and inside. In the break, we saw somebody down there in the bullpen for trying, getting ready. So if Allen runs into any trouble, I'm sure they will 
make a change. Tom showing bunt. And Allen's first two pitches are a little bit out of the strike zone, which has been very unusual for yeah. him. He's been in the strike zone all day long, pounding it. It's been hot. It's the sun's come out now. Tim, these kids have played. They played the 1030 last night. Yeah, that too. It's the seventh inning. There's a little pressure on both teams. Tryon doesn't want to give Panthers anything. Panthers got to score. Oh, he almost come across the plate a little so early. So that's 3-0. and oh. Tom Langford. Is he taking this one, Tim? <laughs> Outside, so there's a walk. There's the tie and run. So Trines open the door, putting the front leadoff batter on. That's going to bring Clinch to the top of the order, number eight, Warren Stovall, first baseman. Now, and look, uh, Langford's got a good set of wheels on him, Tim. Let's see what Coach Lee's going to do here. We're gonna call probably going to have a, a uh, conversation. Man, and that'll give me a break. To, we have the Valosta Nissan. If y'all need a new car, if you'll go see Del Rey and mention Creek Box, he'll give you $500 off on your new vehicle, or they got some great used vehicles over there at Valosta Nissan. So I'll get the rest of them in here in a minute. It's getting loud up there in the bleachers. It is. A little excitement now to the game. A lot, lot riding on this inning. Stovall steps in. He's he going to lay down a bunch. Bunts it down the third baseline. It's going to Go trickle foul. foul. Almost a perfect bunt, Tim. Yeah, if it stayed fair, they'd have, they'd have a difficult time probably throwing him out. That clay is hard around the plate, and you're getting some very high hops on it, too. When that ball hangs in the air, you can't field it. you got to wait till it comes down to where you get a hold of it. Trying to lead two to one here in the bottom of or the top of the seventh. Panthers last it back. Curveball. Mm, just a little low. Good looking curveball taking a little low. He's uh, got a lot of people out on that pitch today. Big breaking curveball. Straight down. 12 to 6, I guess is what you call it. Another one. High chopper toward third. Third baseman's going to oh, feel He drops he the ball. It and he's and safe. Stovall safe. The trying third baseman oh. knew he had to catch it and throw it quickly, and he couldn't get the handle. So Stovall safe. And Tim, he bobbled it, and that allowed. Just enough. I'm telling you, I mean, and the coach is going to come out. That puts Langford at second. Stovall at first with nobody out. The conversation with the pitcher. I think he's going to change. He's going to go to the pen. Probably well, I, probably going to bring in. Uh, would be surprised if it wasn't Big Nail, the right-hander that started game one and pretty well handcuffed the Panthers. And that will give us Comes an in a tough situation. To catch up on our – we want to recognize all our sponsors. Y'all have seen the commercials. We have, the, of course, Valosta Nissan. Lutz Brown, Pickler and Manley, Homerville Jewelers, Lolita's. Uh, go out there and get you a good snow cone. The Shack Cafe and Country Cabin over in Pearson. Mike's Golf Cart, Burt Accounting, Camping World of Valosta, Popeyes, Lee Engineering, Dairy Queen, Valosta Orthopedic, Feed and Seed, and Empire Banking Company. And we want to to remind you to watch the Creek Box lineup on Sunday mornings. You can catch uh, Brother Austin DeLoach at 9.30 and Brother David Johnson immediately after on Creek Box regular programming. Then watch the Trinity Baptist Church Sunday morning service live at 11. If you know of any church or minister that would like to be a part of Creek Box Sunday mornings, contact me, Tim, or Barry, and we can hook you up. We want to remind you that Creek Box will be starting our nightly news very soon. We need people to send us video clips of anything you think might be newsworthy. Just video on your cell phone. If you have any announcements you want us to make, let us know. and We'll be glad to do that for you. Just call us at 912-550-5039. And, Tim, who we got in? Trines brought in uh, Blaine Woody, who was the starter in game two. I don't know. He's probably got. He, you know, he, he came out. He's probably got Sarah. He's probably got. Yeah, he's got enough to yeah, get out of this one. Yeah, 50 or 60 yeah, pitches left, right. I imagine, because he went out in about the third yesterday. So, 
I still have one more. They still have Big Nell if they need him, who pitched through a good many pitches yesterday. But Blaine Woody comes in with the Panthers on first and second. Nobody out here in the seventh. Woody trying to protect the two to one lead and send the Bulldogs on to the Elite Eight and play the winner of Bowden and Bakington. Uh, Tim, these are two evenly matched oh, teams. Absolutely. I mean, you flip a quarter. I absolutely. Mean, first, either. first and second, nobody out here. I would wouldn't be surprised to see a bunt situation here. Nanny says, "Thanks, Creek Box, for making it possible for us to watch them go, Bulldogs." Uh, we appreciate all y'all tuning in from trying. Jalen takes first pitch for a strike. He's going to lay down a bunt. Lay down a bunt. It's going to be fair. It's going to get in and there. And either it's base, be a base or loaded. Great job by Jalen. He gets by the pitcher. He's hitting that little triangle out there. And Griffiths comes up with, a, oh, man. with a, a base hit that you couldn't throw out there any better. And, Tim, so, there was nothing they could do about no, that. No, first base was crashing. Third base pitcher had to have the right hand, the third base side. So, when that ball's hit like that, it's just a tough angle for anybody to field. And uh, a tremendous bunt base hit. It's going to put the Panthers in business with the bases loaded here. And up comes big Duncan Lutz. Duncan Lutz, third baseman. So nobody was, out. Man, that is huge. Nobody out. Duncan was four for four last night in game two with two doubles, a triple. And a single. Woody did a good job through a curveball, but Griffiths was able to get it down, kind of that little triangle out there between first and second in the hole. Pretty Lutz pitch. Takes the first pitch for a strike. Trying to trying to hang on here and get the big win. Second time today the Panthers have had the bases loaded. Ground ball hit towards short. Be a They're double flip play. And go for That's two. out one. But and out the run two. scores from third. We're tied up at two, folks. So, so the Panthers will tie it up, and they're 90 feet away from taking the lead. Two to two now here in the top of the seventh. That's going to bring up Kyle Hendricks. Catcher. Kyle's been struggling here this series. At the, I mean, played some great defense, but here in the bat, he's just struggled a little bit. He's been a great hitter for the Panthers all season long. A couple of home runs. Makes the first pitch outside. So it makes you wonder if it's going to vary what uh, what he does here with the potential go ahead run on third ball gets in the dirt. Could allow Stovall to score from third. You see Rhett Barber back there with the. Taking that pitch upstairs from ball two. Hitman Coach Barber cheering on the Panthers. Trying fans on their feet. Clinch County on their feet. Everybody. Yeah, there's nobody sitting down, Tim. Everybody. Uh, well, Clinch is sitting a little bit right now, but trying didn't. Good looking curveball from Woody. Sneaks in the back door for a strike. So Kyle Hendricks, catcher still up. Two balls and a strike. Clinch has tied it up at two apiece here, so we will play the bottom of the seventh, folks. Pop oh. up, back out of play. Going to even the count at two apiece. Clinch shaking the shakers, trying to coax in a run here. And it's 90 feet away, so you know... Uh a bad pitch here. I tell you, Trine's catcher's done a great job today. He has. Today Britt Angel's done a fantastic plate. job. Oh, oh and got him. the inside great corner pitch. froze Kyle. So we're going to go to the bottom of the seventh, folks. But Clinch County's able to squeeze a run in to tie it up at two apiece. We'll be back at the seventh. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. 
guys. My name is Nick Johnson. I'm the new pastor of Homerville Free Will Baptist Church. And I just moved here with my family from Oklahoma. Boomer! Sometimes life throws you some difficult things. And when it happens, it can seem scary, almost make you feel like you're all alone. I want you to know that if God is with you, then you can make it through anything. The Word of God says that He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will go before us. If you give your life to Him, He'll help you make it through those difficult times. And on the other side, you will be blessed. I'm so blessed to be here in Homerville. We love the town, love the people. Go Panthers! Yeah. All right, Tim, we're here in the bottom of the seventh. <laughs> Tied two to two. Uh, both of these, this game's going in just like it started in game one, Tim. Is Everybody's one, season know. on the line here. It's uh, If anybody was asleep, they're awake now. You know what? Uh, because this is uh, like, uh, almost like overtime basketball here. The Panthers have done that. Clinch has done that all season. Trailed going into the last inning, I think, at least seven games. And yeah, have come back a... and tied it or won it. But trying just like the Panthers. Oh, yeah. They've won 16 games and well, probably the toughest region in Class yeah, A. Yeah, they played, they played in a tough region there. And, and, and trying just had a little bit of bad luck, baseball luck there in the seventh that allowed Clinch to tie it up. See Miss Bambi, she's hot. She's waving that fan. <laughs> trying to at the top of their order. 33, Andy Allen steps in to lead off the bottom of the seventh. Trying looking to... Advance here with any kind of run. Popped up, back over the screen. Good cut by Allen on fast ball from Lutz. And like I say, this is Lutz first time on the mound since game one. First game of the season. Back in he threw what? February the Yeah, back in February. Fourteenth, thirteenth, somewhere along in there. A little Ooh. upstairs, one and one. Trying, looking to get base runners here and break this tie. A little oh, outside. Just a little outside. That umpire has been consistent. He's got a small strike zone. Allen's had some pitches like that that's been close also for trying. Good Swing and a miss pitch. on a good fastball. He was at two apiece. So the battle continues here. Here again, I, you know, it's been a great series. You hate to see any team yeah, not yeah, I mean, be able right. to play next week. Yeah, the, the loser of this, uh, it's, it's going to be bad, like you say, Tim, because the loser could go on and win next week also. Oh, these yeah. teams yeah, just these, that even. These are two quality teams playing here today, well-coached quality teams. And they've, Andy Allen's coaxed a full count out of big right-hander Lutz for the Panthers. Trying, looking to get a runner on here and try to take this thing home. Got him. Struck him out. Good job by Kyle Hendricks. Pitch at the bottom of the strike zone. Call for strike three. Kind of froze Allen there. He thought it was low, but the umpire thought differently. So the leadoff batter in the seventh is Allen strikes. Number nine, Hagen Willingham. Second baseman is going to be come up next for the, for the trying Bulldogs. And we're tied two to two here in the bottom of the seventh. So we're... Panthers, get out of this inning. We'll have some extra baseball for you. Got a long way to go before we get out of this That's one. Right. Two elusive outs. Sometimes that third out can be more elusive than any of them. Well, Tim, Tryon has scored all their runs with two outs tonight. So, And they've held the Panthers uh, in the first inning. The Panthers had the bases loaded with one out and got no runs and then had the bases loaded last inning with no outs and only scored one run. Right, so they've, done, they've had done a good job of damage control. Pop up to the infield. Center fielder going to come in, second baseman French Casey goes back and takes it. So two are out here. In the seventh, it's going to bring up catcher Briar Engel. To try to uh, to try to uh, keep this thing alive. We are tied up two to two. 
I got some people saying, give us the score. <laughs> We're trying to keep up with it. We don't have the school board on the screen tonight. One of our cameras went out, but we are tied here in the bottom of the seventh, two to two. Great baseball game here in Clinch County today. Homerville, Georgia. And here comes Kyle. He back out to talk to Duncan. Getting their signals. Duncan, like we said, hadn't pitched for the first game of the season. I don't think he got the signal. Now he gets it. Well, just not, not familiar with one another. It's been a good while. So you're just trying to, you want to be sure here in a game of this magnitude in this situation, you don't have a cross up and ground ball hit back towards second. Oh, and it's a hard bounce out to the center fielder, Tim. So that bad hop single going to keep trying alive here in the seventh. Coach probably going to call and get a runner in for the catcher. And that's the gonna, sixth hit today for trying. It's going to bring up Blaine Woody, who is the right fielder and now on the mound or cleanup hitter, or fifth hitter in the order. So two in, outs, Tim. So Inkle comes up with a clutch base hit here in the seventh with two gone. In a 2-2 tie, it's going to determine who moves on to the Elite Eight. All right, Panthers need one out. Runner on first. I don't know what the – oh, the, I guess he called time, Tim. Just well, the, the glove was off of Kyle's hand. I don't know if it fell off or he, when he brought the bat back. He hit the glove, not really sure. Lutz from the stretch facing Woody. Over at first is the courtesy runner for the Ooh, catcher, Engel. Strike. Pitch, pitch on the outside corner, low and outside, called a strike. Two outs, runner's going to be running on contact, so any ball hit in the gap is going to be a potential play at the plate. Oh, Miss Bambi's hot. I think she may have nervous energy, too. She's <laughs> yeah. just trying to. One and one. Yeah. That's a good woman. That's sitting. right. A lot, a lot of women line. need to take a snapshot of that and <laughs> see. That's right. how you take care of your husband. That's what the Bible says. You're supposed to take care of your husband. <laughs> Snap throw to first. Oh, boy, does anything can happen when you go up there like get nervous when teams. You got two outs. I'm thinking let's get that third out. Uh, but they do it so much, I guess they're used to it, Tim. I don't know if Coach Douglas gets used to it, though. <laughs> I guarantee you. Pretty pit. High chopper. That's going to be a tough play. I don't know if we're going to get him or not. He's going to be oh, safe. Oh, he's safe. It what was. It was. I, that, that's probably the seventh or eighth ball I've seen that's chopped over the bound like that as high as it was. And Brent Casey comes in and tries to make a good play, but Woody's able to leg out a base hit. Coach Lee is going to talk to the umpire. And I mean, it it could go either way, Tim. It was that close. It uh, was. Uh, that ball was uh, just and, hung in the air so long. It did. And uh, Kaysen had to make a long run to make the play. That was kind of similar to the one that Clinch got the runner on on the chopper to third like that as well. So now the winning run down at second. Trying comes back with back to back base hits with two outs in the seventh. Tim, a base hit here. And the, I mean, well, Boy, he's, he's you're probably going to have to bring your in, your outfielders in a little bit so because you're going to have to make a throw to the plate with two outs. He's going to be running on contact. So a lot, of, a lot of strategy going on here. Will White, number four, the third baseman. Everybody's probably on the edge of their seat now. I could look over at Trine's dugout, and they're all up against the fence. Clinch County all sitting with their fingers crossed, hoping to get out of this one. Courtesy runner at second for trying, running for the catcher. Ooh, a little inside Just there. inside. Ball one. It all started with a clutch base hit by Briar Engel. Yep, with two outs. And Blaine Woody hits a high chopper over the mound that falls for a base hit. 
The left ball there, two. ball two. Two to two, trying, trying to get that third run here and finish the game and go back to North Georgia with a victory. Pretty pitch by Lutz. Inside corner, call for a strike. Two and one. That was a good take by White. Ball is yeah. not a good hitter's pitch, good pitcher's pitch, but two and one now. Again, two outs. Runners will be moving on contact, so even a ground ball is going to be interesting because you can't have a bad throw. Bad throw would probably allow the, the runner around third to score, so a lot of pressure everywhere on the field today. Pressure to play it in the field on the mound. Just Season all comes down to this potential batter. Well, Tim, they've got their money's worth today, the oh, fans yeah. have. And one's on watching this for the last two days. It's been good. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. An outstanding block by Kyle Hendricks. An outstanding block. That ball was a fastball in the dirt. and Dunk's got pretty good velocity. Kyle does a great job keeping the runners where they are. So we're at three and one, two outs here. Excitement everywhere around. Cecil Barber Field here in Homerville. Oh, Swing and a miss. Man, what a pitch. Big cut by White. It comes up empty. Oh, so Tim, now, now we got 3 pitch. 2. <laughs> two outs. So the runners are going to be running on this pitch. So now any base hit is almost going to assuredly score. That's baby Blaine Woody. <laughs> we got a text. That's this right. is the money ball coming right three, in. 3 2 Tim. 2 outs. We're either going to get extra baseball or we're not right here. What a Round pitch ball by hit toward Lutz. third. Second baseman, Cation yeah, throws it out. Man. So Clinch is able to dodge a bullet. Folks, we're going to free baseball. We're all tied up after seven. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but if you tried our tasty seafood, all of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. You're watching Creekbox TV. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at All right, welcome back, everybody. We're in extra innings here in game three, deciding game three. That's going to send the winning team to the Elite Eight. 2-2. Two -two. Clinch County, the visiting team in game three. Tryon County, the home team. Tim, Lane the, Woody on the mound came in a relief. The fans, it is loud outside, brother. He's going to face leadoff batter for the, in the eighth inning for the Panthers, number 17, Brent's case. And Brent's made a clutch throw on the ground ball to end the threat in the seventh with runners on first and second running on the pitch so to send us here first pitch taken a little low by Casey little outside 2-0 and oh. Panthers trying to get the lead off on again Since Panthers on their feet I'm sure Trines. Pretty pitch. Trines fans are equally as charged yeah, up. Man. There's so much riding on the line the whole season comes down to 
That's right. Try and scored in the first inning. One run. And then uh, fouled out of play, score even it at two and two. The Panthers come back in inning number three and got a run. And then in the fifth, Tryon went back up two to one, and the Panthers come back in the seventh and tied it. It's Tim, so that's where we are now in the eighth. And Tryon was threatening in the bottom of the seventh. High chopping. That's a we've seen so many of those today. Long throw. He's safe. <sighs> So a, a ground ball up the middle, a high chopper backhanded <laughs> by the second baseman. He throws the first. Brent's Cason slides in, is able to beat the throw, so he's safe with an infield single we knew to he was lead off. Safe from Jimmy and David out there hollering outside the trailer. <laughs> Tim, I still hear somebody moaning. Might want to check. Somebody might have hit yeah. him in the head with somebody the ball. <laughs> somebody may have jumped up and hit their head on a pole or something. <laughs> the clinch has got the leadoff runner on here on a tough bang bang play at first. Going to bring up Josh. Is Josh Cripps or is that? that a, That's Pigler, yeah. the pride of Maynard. We got Pigler in the game now. He hit a deep ball yeah, he did, last he. night. Game two. Round ball hit toward third. That and that's going to get by. Ball's going to click, a, hit off the third baseman's glove and get into the hole. So Pigler comes up and passes the baton back to somebody else. Here. That woke everybody up in Maynard, Georgia. Great job by Pigler. Back-to-back -back hits by the Panthers. Puts runners on first and second with nobody out. Darius Dorsey going to step into the box, I believe. Yep, Dorsey's in the box. Tim, you're right. First and second. Textbook baseball tell you this is a definite bunt situation. Don't know if it will be, but... And you're right, he's going to square up. Oh, just does uh, miss it. Throw the second. Trying to catch the Panthers sleeping. He was halfway to third, Tim, it looked like. Almost got him. Great hustle Lynch. by Kaysen, man, a while ago. Thanks for runners in first and second. Nobody here in the eighth looking to try to take the lead, retake the lead or take the first lead of the game. Yeah, the trying hadn't trailed none. Bunt in front of the plate. It's going to be fielded by the catcher. Got the hustle, first. and he's Looks safe Looks like Dorsey's going to be safe. So Dorsey can fly, so the bases are loaded here. No outs in the eight. So a uh, bunt by Dorsey in front of the plate. Nobody could really get to it. So Dorsey legs out of base hit. So the Panthers now, for the third time in the game, have the bases loaded. So far, they've only been able to get one out of this situation. But And last inning, they had no outs here, Tim, just like we are now. We had a... Gabe Morris batted in the last Coach time Lee's, in this spot. Uh, calling in everybody in the infield, I think, Tim. Well, he's calling the runners in. I'm sure their they're, they're coach is coming in to talk, see what's going on. It's it's uh, trying to calm everybody down both ways. I mean, there's uh, just so much riding on the next few minutes of this game. Man, and we want uh, to be sure – we want y'all to be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new contents and on upcoming programs, but mostly our live programs like today, man. If y'all have seen our announcements up here, if uh, anybody up in Trine would like to hook up with Creek Box, we'd love to have you. So, Tim, I think they're leaving as is. No changes here for Trine. Try in. Let me get that right. They've corrected me twice today. It's try in. It's trying in. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I've been wrong for yeah. You've come in. And, years. Yeah, it, uh, I've had a couple of texts. It's T R Y I N. Try in is how it's pronounced. So All right. I learned something today. I can mark this day down. Oh. Uh, never yep. too, never too old to to learn. And I get Langston mixed up Hendricks, because I man. say he's trying to make it the yeah. second. <laughs> Langston Hendricks hitting here with nobody out. Pitch outside for ball one. So the Bulldogs, I'm just going to call them the Bulldogs, and that way I won't mess up the – I was bad about calling them the county last night, and I don't yeah. want to do yeah, any worse. Yeah, but a couple times today. The, <laughs> the Bulldogs are uh, in a, in a full-blown jam here. Good eye by now, Langston. Woody falls behind 2-0. and oh. And, man, don't you – I feel for Woody right here. Bases oh, loaded, yeah. no outs. And he's done a good job. He, he just had a couple – a bun and a, and a 98 hopper over the mound. Oh, 
ball, so it goes down now. It's two balls and one strike. There's Fly ball hit, hit deep, look out, deep, deep, way deep. deep. It's going to burn on one go All the way to the wall. That's going to be at That's least gonna a double. clean the bases, Tim. At least a double and see where everybody ends up. And it does. Links, oh, Dorsey will get caught at home. He had to. They got him out. What happened? Dorsey was over. At Langston went to third. So Dorsey couldn't turn around and go back, but that will score two, Tim. Yeah, long double by Langston Hendricks and Coach Douglas, I guess, held uh, held uh, Dorsey. Dorsey at third, but he kind of got caught in no man's land because Langston was motoring into third. But nevertheless, it's four to two, Clinch County, one out, runner on third. Man, Langston almost took that one out with one hop. That ball was hit a long a, way out the right center, I'm a long you, way. About two feet in front of the fence, Tim. A long way. So Tom Langford Corey. batting now with one out and runner on third. Clinch looking to add to the 42 lead they've got here in the top of the eighth. The cardiac kids are coming back again. They've trailed the whole first lead for Clinch County today. Trine has led the whole game. Fly ball down the right field line, going to be out of play. Next run here would be huge if. And Tim, the other game, we said they don't start till after five, so we don't have any updates. No, it'll be a little later before they're getting cranked up. That's probably still another hour before they before they go. Little upstairs outside, two and one to we Tom Langford. Got a bunch of texts coming in. Let's go, Panthers. Way to go, Panthers. Roll red roll. So that's woke all the Clinch County fans up. Blaine Woody has done a good job. Just gave up one pitch that Clinch County, that probably the hardest ball he fit the whole game. To the, uh, right, yeah, to the yeah. gap in right center. But just happened to be with three runners on base. And only Tom Lafford hits a ground ball down to third. They'll hold him. So that'll be – Panthers only have five hits today, Tim. So a fine clutch play by the third baseman for the Bulldogs. Going to keep that runner at third. Now we're back at the top of the order for Warren Stovall. What do you need a big out here? Stovall looking to add to the two-run lead the Panthers now have here in the top of the eighth. Ball a little bit outside. Mm, pretty pitch. Top of the strike zone. Inside call for a strike. So Woody evens the count at one apiece. I tell you what, a four to two has. here in the top of the eight. Langston Hendricks down at third with that bases loaded double. He's dug a hole up there with his cleat. Stovall has. <laughs> He'll get in there and scratch around. He digs them cleats in the dirt. Oh, there's a hard Round hit, but well, that's going to be, be fair. It is, Tim. It's going to be fair, so that's going to score Langston Hendricks. And that's going to be hit number six for so the Panthers. Warren Stovall comes up with a clutch single down the third baseline. That's going to plate the third run of the inning and the fifth run of the game. So Clinch now holding a 5-2 to two lead with two outs here in the eighth. Jalen Griffiths, Clinch's center fielder, number seven, at the plate with two outs here in the top of the eighth. That's a big swing, comes up empty, good pitch by, by Woody. That's Round another ball hard third. hit one. That ball hits the bag. It's going to kick down yep. the left field line. That's oh. going to allow Stovall to go all he's the way to third. And he's safe. And Jalen Griffiths motors into second. So that ball hits off the bag and kicks over there by the light pole for a double. And that's hit number seven for the Panthers. So that's going to move Stovall all the way to third. And Jalen Griffiths is going to be in at second with a a double in the scorebook, but it's kind of an odd, odd-looking play. And that's going to bring up number five, Duncan Lutz. Going to hit with two outs and two runners still in scoring position. And 
Shrine's had about as rough a luck as you can have I'm in the inning. You, that, you know, they've had great luck all the way to the seventh inning, Tim. Right. They have outplayed Clinch County for six and a half innings. Oh, man, that's, I guess just a little high. A little outside. Lutz is up here, and two runners are scoring position. Blaine Woody trying to shut the door. Mm, just a little outside. Woody pitched, uh, he probably threw 60, 70 pitches yeah, he yesterday, came in, Tim. He started game two and went about three and a half, four innings. There it is. Lutz takes the ball on the inside corner, two and one. That's his best pitch right there that comes across the inside. There's ball a hit deep. hard. And that's, that's going to fall. fall. That's going to be a base hit to left. That's going to plate two more for the Panthers. Mm, Tim. So, Clinch now takes a 7-2 lead here in the top of the eighth. The floodgates have opened up yes, here. Sometimes that happens. They've hit. We've had five hits in a row here, Tim. So that's going to leave Lutz at first still, and it's going to put a, a big five-run inning for the Panthers so far. Coach Lee's making a change here. Let's see. I'm going to put a runner in for Lutz. He's a pitcher, so he get the same courtesy runner, I would imagine. Looks like Coach Lee's uh, got a little hop in his step now, Tim. <laughs> yeah, he's, his collar's not quite he as tight. He had fired up at home plate a while ago, bumping right. chest uh, with no outs. It's just a uh, sad way to see the inning go for the I'm telling Bulldogs because they played Shine. a tremendous series, and, you know, they – they, Tim, they've done everything to win this game they for did. six and a half. That's well, exactly for seven right. innings, it was tied two to two. Right. Well, for six and a half, the Panthers were basically asleep. That's right. And we're back up. Uh, Kyle with, Hendricks, Clint's catcher. Takes the ball in the dirt. Good job by the catcher, Engel, for trying to keep that ball in front of him. And, man, he has played it. I know he he's given out. great. Trying to play a great series. They played a great series. They got a fine team. Good pitching staff. They've just done everything well. Just had a little bit of bad luck at the wrong time. Line drive by Kyle Hendricks. That and ball's going to get fall out. For a base hit. Baseball, high school baseball, such a game of momentum that once that momentum switches, sometimes it's just like you say, the floodgates open. Nine hits now for the Panthers. They've got about seven this inning, don't they? And trying, you know. That they've been stuck here on two outs, Tim, for the last four batters. Well, they've had clinches had what four four base hits in a row with two outs. That, that's right. So, and I think the coach is coming out, and I think he's going to pull the trigger. He is, and Tim, that'll give us a chance. We can work in our another break and get a word from our sponsors, man, and get a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Valdosta Orthopedic Associates has been setting the standard in South Georgia for quality orthopedic and medical care for over 25 years. We don't get to choose when injury or illness will strike, but when they do, the board certified physicians here will work hard to make sure you recover as soon as possible. Remember, Valdosta Orthopedic Associates has a walk-in clinic where you can get help quick and special bumps and bruises clinic where middle school and high school athletes can get the best of treatment even on Saturday mornings after the game. Valdosta Orthopedic Associates, Valdosta, Georgia. Valdosta Nissan Cadillac is the home of oil changes for life on any vehicle purchased from us, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty on all new vehicles. We have one of the largest pre-owned inventories in South Georgia, the best service department in Valdosta, and our parts department can get you anything from wiper blades to tires. So for all your automotive needs, come see me, D-Ray, at Vite Austin Nissan Cadillac, or give me a call, 912-599-9564. Go Panthers. Don't miss the Waycross Ware County Public Library's annual OkiCon, a free comics and fandom festival on Saturday, May the 4th. There are activities for all ages, including a kids' area, Smash Brothers tournament, play to win board games, cosplay contest, maker crafts, and more. We'll also give away free Comic Book Day 2019 comics while supplies last. For more info, see www.okrls.org. Don't miss the Waycross Ware County Public Library's annual OkiCon. A free comics and fandom festival on Saturday, May the 4th. 
All right, Tim, who we got on the mound now for trying? I think it's the first baseman. I believe it's Helms. Panthers have who's up to bat? That's no, uh, it's Kaysen. A, it's a different first baseman. I'm not sure it's number 29. I'll have to if I get time, I'll look at their lineup and see, see who I... it is. Brent's case is hitting. Ground ball hit by Brent's. That ball gets through. Oh, and he's safe. No, deep, deep shortstop made the play, but throws the first, but not in time. So Brent's case is able to leg out a base hit. And the Panthers continue to to keep this thing alive here in the eighth. What number is that? Twenty nine. I don't have a number twenty nine. Tim. Brent's case, and that's his second hit this inning. I have a 27, Dawson Brown. Is that? I think it's 29. I don't have him. Apparently, we've made a jersey change or something. Well, now, the first baseman during the, during the game was. Uh, that was his, his whole lineup sheet he gave right. me. First baseman was. That one got away from him a little bit. I'm not sure. Helms was the first baseman, but maybe they got a different, different number on him today. I'm not sure. Folks, I'm sorry we don't have the correct name there, but they've changed pitchers and brought in the left-hander. The pride of Mainers up to bat. Big Pigler. He had a great hit his first at bat. He did. Ball in the dirt. Is it a little louse to get That's another run? That's get another it one. Is. And the ball gets by the pitcher. So that makes so it now, Tim. 8-2. Eight 8-2. Two. Eight to two. So Lutz comes in and scores, or, or Creer does on that. Ball's in the dirt, so that's going to allow everybody to move up the base. Come on, Stammy, rise up. We got a text. I don't know who that's from. Yeah, the clouds are darkening up, Tim. I was, that's what I need to do, pull up the radar. Let's see what it looks like. It's rained all around Homerville today. Ground ball hit toward third. Third baseman up at the play. Throws the and first. got it, finally. So, Tryon's able to finally get the Panthers out, but not before. Clinch put six runs on the board. So, we're going to go to the bottom half of the eighth inning with the Bulldogs with looking at an eight to two deficit. Homerville Feed and Seed can provide nearly all of your farming related needs including seed, corn, bulk fertilizer, herbicides, insecticides and a large variety of other farm products. Evely and Nick want to remind you that you do not have to shop out of town to find the lowest prices. Our prices are as low or lower than any of those out of town companies. Come by and let the friendly staff at Homerville Feed and Seed help you select the farm products you need at the lowest prices around. All right, Tim, we're back here in the bottom of the eighth. You know, we had no runs scored in the first seven innings, had four total, and now uh, Clinch busted out with six runs in the eighth to make it an eight to two game, brother. Leading off for the Bulldogs will be number 21, Andrew Venn. So Duncan, this will be inning number three for Lutz to pitch. Oh. He hadn't pitched since back in February. So uh, let's see if Trine can put some runs on the board. Raining all around Clinch County. So here we go. We're starting the bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth. Trying. The try-in Bulldogs looking <laughs> right. looking uphill at this 8-2 to two deficit. Got to put that Clint's put six on the board, tied up at two, so anything's possible, folks. Don't don't count out anything no. here. It's high school baseball. And there's a lot of momentum going in the game. Duncan Lutz in relief here. First pitch a little low. Yeah. 
It got loud out here at the last couple of innings with both fan base. There's a strike down the middle. Ball and a strike to Vin. I'm sure they're taking strikes here. They need base runners any way they can get them here in the eighth. Clinch exploded for eight runs on about six or seven hits, back-to-back -back hits, a lot of them. None bigger than that bases loaded double by Langston Hendricks. That started the, the rally. Or started the run rally, I guess you'd say. Two and one to Vin. Oh, good cut. Big cut. It comes up empty, though, so it's two and two. Lutz in his first appearance since game one of the season. I tell you what, Miss Emily, Josh's mama's sitting up. She's holding up that baseball. She has wore that bubble gum out today. Yeah. Found out of play. <laughs> she has. She's going to give out, bless her heart, when she gets home tonight. She has fan chewed. She's. Her and Miss Bambi's been going at it now. Yeah. Mm, All three, eye. three and two, so. Trying, looking to get base runners any way they can. That's right. They get their lead off on Tim, and like you say, man, and, you know, this has been that type of game. One team goes up, it the is. other team comes it back. Is. I mean, it's been a series just like that. Oh, when he come around. Ball was probably ball four, it but he was. couldn't hold up. But that's a huge strikeout. Huge strikeout in favor of the Panthers. and That's only the fourth strikeout Tough luck today. by on the Bulldogs, but still one out. Going to bring up number seven shortstop, Brandon Dover. And the Panthers are two out away from advancing to play the winner between Bowden and Bacon and Charter next week. Tim, do you know what days the games will be next yeah. week? Wednesday and Thursday. Doubleheader Wednesday, Wednesday and a single game Thursday. All right. Usually in the playoffs like this, you go after the first, the second round, you go six days and then six days, and the following week will be like Tuesday and Wednesday. And the, believe it or not, they're going to play the state championship on a Monday. Mm. Hit oh, the right field. Hit. That's going to be a base hit, so trying. Hanging in there. That's there hit number three, six. They've had eight hits today themselves. Dover does his job, pokes a single to right. So they got one on, one out. Coming to the plate is going to be number 30, Noah Edgeworth, left fielder. One out single by trying to keep things alive here in the eighth. Base. Ball a little low. The X. <laughs> what is it? And she's got a signature. Your oh, signature yeah. on it says the X. Or what is it? Looks like doctor's yeah. writing, doesn't yeah. it? It looks like a, <laughs> yeah. looks like a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> now, I can tell you who can't write, and that's Barry. You can't read nothing he writes. Two balls and no strikes to Edgeworth here. Trying trying to get things rolling here in the bottom of the eighth. Ooh, pretty pitch there by Lutz. Tim, this game, we started at 2 o'clock. What time is it, brother? It's about 425, but we're in the seventh inning at about 350, so it's been a tale of two games. Fly ball down the right field line. Looks like it's going to get out of play in the big oak tree, so it's going to even at two and two. I mean, we got to the fifth inning in an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, we, it was jetting along. Two and two to Edgeworth over at first as Brandon Dover had a one-out single here in the eighth. Duncan Lutz on in relief of Josh Griffiths for the Panthers. Good. Swing and a miss. Yes. So that's going to be the second strikeout of the inning for Lutz in the second out. So try on the Bulldogs down to their last out here. Colt Trammell, leadoff batter center fielder, number one, is stepping in the box. And we want to remind everybody, Creek Box, y'all pay attention to our Facebook page. We'll let you know. Uh, 
uh, if GHSA, I'm sure they'll allow us to do the playoff game next week, uh, whoever wins. So uh, we'll uh, find out. We'll let you know. Panthers one out away from getting the win here. And Tim, we'll let you know. I don't know. I guess the first would be at probably five first game. I don't have any don't idea. Know, uh, I don't, I don't both know. coaches, do we'll, they have to agree on that? I don't worry about that. this one. This one's over. There ain't no telling. It may be trying, going, anything can happen. That's right. I don't even know where it would be. The winner may be in, may be in uh, Bacon, may be in, I think, by, was Bowden the higher seed? Or trying? No, Trine's the uh, higher seed. Could, so be, could still be in Trine. It could right. be in Bacon. Bowden pulls up, said it may be here, but we're yeah. not through with this one yet. Nope, they need a miracle to I happen. Was, I was in Cook County, and Cook County was down to their last out in the Deciding third game, and they were playing Love It, and Love It cranked up the bus. You know what happened? Took come back in one game three. Okay, so it's they possible. That, they got that old saying of baseball you never sack up the bats till the game's over. Pretty pitch by Lutz. Well, I can tell you what, the fat lady's starting to hum. Well, they better crank them up quick, like here. Yeah, it's like. You know, Josh's Trine's mom was about be, to overheat up there. Yeah, Maps called, Maps <laughs> called 911 for her. Hey, and it is hot up there, brother. That sun's popped it back out. A... Big curveball, oh, strike curve two. Ball. You know, uh, Trine has done everything have, that you should have season. done they to have, win. They, they played it. They did well enough to win. They just had some some rotten luck. It's about the best way to say it. And then then momentum switched the Panthers and. When that happens, coaching for a long time, you're just sitting there helplessly, not much you can do. The Trines had a great season. Came down here and gave the Panthers all they wanted. And got him on strike three so looking. Can, so Trammell goes down looking for the third out of the inning. Folks, this one's over with. Clinch County has stolen one from the Trine And Luck struck Bulldogs. out the side there, Tim. So that allows Clinch to take an 8-2 to two victory in the third and deciding game of the second round of the Class A public playoffs. And, man, we'll try to keep you updated on when the next game will be. Clinch County will either be traveling to Bacon or we'll be hosting Bowden here. It'll be next Wednesday for a doubleheader and Thursday. The coaches will have to determine exactly game times and uh, the if game on the game three, if possible, on, on Thursday. Man, what a game we want to give. What trying. a series. Uh, yeah. What just, a series. Trying a great baseball team. We want to wish them all safe travels and good luck uh, getting back up there. And next year, you know, they always, I mean, year they're, in, year they're, out, they're, yeah, they're, they're they got a program, great program. Class program. Uh, man, and we want to give all our sponsors a shout out that's made this possible to be able to bring these exciting baseball games to you. We have Valosta Nissan. You go over there and see Dale Ray and mention Creek Box, and you'll get a $500 discount. Lutz Brown Pickler Manley, Homerville Jewelers, Lolita's, The Shack Cafe and Country Cabin, Mike's Golf Carts, Burt Accounting, Camping World of Valosta, Popeye's Lee Engineering, Dairy Queen, Valosta Orthopedic, Feed and Seed, and Empire Banking Company. Without them folks, me and Tim couldn't bring you nothing from Creek Box. Uh, we want to remind you to watch the Creek Box lined up on Sunday mornings. You can catch Brother Austin DeLoach at 9.30 a.m. and Brother David Johnson immediately after on Creek Box regular programming. Then watch the Trinity Baptist Church Sunday morning service live at 11. If you know of any church or minister that would like to be a part of Creek Box Sunday mornings, contact me, Tim, or Mr. Berry, and we can hook you up with that. We also want to remind you that Creek Box will be starting our nightly news very soon. We need people to send us video clips of anything you think might be newsworthy. Just video on your cell phone. If you have any announcements you want us to make, let us know. We'll be glad to do that for you. Just call us at 912-550-5039. Tim, brother, I enjoyed it. What a great game, man, and a great series. Um, yeah, we can see uh, we can run and take a commercial break here, and we might come back and try to get Tim to get some interviews. Yeah, I'll try to talk to them. This first time Clinch County's been to the Elite Eight since Coach Douglas was a was a senior back in 2004 or five. So, well, big happenings here in Homerville. That's we'll, right. We'll take a uh, commercial break, and we'll come back and try to hook Tim up on the sideline.
You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength, joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. Lutz, Brown, Tegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Pigler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Farmers and Merchants Bank in Homerville is ready to meet all of your banking needs. With drive through service, 24-hour ATM, and night depository, we provide the most efficient and service-oriented banking in the area. We are proud to be a part of the Homerville Clinch County community and support all Clinch County athletic teams in their quest to be the best. Go by and see Sam Shaw and all the team at Farmers and Merchants Bank in Homerville to discuss your banking opportunities. Go Panthers! Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Come out to Lolita's for the best cold treats and hot sweets around. You'll be glad you did. Located on Highway 84 East in Homerville, Lolita invites everyone to enjoy our outdoor seating, our New Orleans-style snowballs, and fresh mouth-watering beignets. Don't forget our tasty chili dogs. For your convenience, Lolita's is open Monday through Saturday from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Come cool off or heat up at Lolita's, East Highway 84 in Homerville. Shack Cafe is now open in Pearson, Georgia. For the best breakfast and lunch buffets in South Georgia, check out the Shack Cafe. You can dine in, order takeout, or use our fast and efficient drive through We have a wide variety of meals, sandwiches, and burgers. Oh yeah, and after breakfast and lunch at the Shack Cafe, drive on over to the Country Cabin Steakhouse for dinner. Just off the Pearson Douglas Highway, we are known for the best steaks and seafood in South Georgia. And don't forget, the Country Cabin Steakhouse can host all of your holiday parties, events, and meals. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. You're watching Creekbox TV. Camping World of Eldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership. 
roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Hi guys, my name is Nick Johnson. I'm the new pastor of Homerville Free Will Baptist Church, and I just moved here with my family from Oklahoma. Boomer! Sometimes life throws you some difficult things, and when it happens, it can seem scary, almost make you feel like you're all alone. I want you to know that if God is with you, then you can make it through anything. The Word of God says that He will never leave us, He will never forsake us. He will go before us. If you give your life to Him, He'll help you make it through those difficult times, and on the other side, you will be blessed. I'm so blessed to be here in Homerville. We love the town, love the people. Go Panthers! Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. You're watching Creekbox TV. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Valdosta Orthopedic Associates has been setting the standard in South Georgia for quality orthopedic and medical care for over 25 years. We don't get to choose when injury or illness will strike, but when they do, the board certified physicians here will work hard to make sure you recover as soon as possible. Remember, Valdosta Orthopedic Associates has a walk-in clinic where you can get help quick and special bumps and bruises clinic where middle school and high school athletes can get the best of treatment, even on Saturday mornings after the game. Valdosta Orthopedic Associates, Valdosta.
All right, folks, we're back here for a post-game interview with Coach Douglas, head coach of the Clinch County Panthers. Uh, after that emotional win, had some time with his team down there to talk about the victory. And coach, what do you think? <laughs> well, um, we just kind of hang around, hang around until something happens our way. I guess we've done it all year, so, you know, you, you kind of learn to expect it. You don't really want it, but you expect it. Coach Douglas usually sounds a little different than this, but he's, <laughs> he's coached about as hard as he can. This game looks like he's wore out, can't hardly talk. And uh, Yeah, I can't. Uh, my voice left about the second inning. Yeah. This bunch here, though, was, that's been seventh inning several times, eighth right. inning sometimes. So it wasn't new to them to be in that kind of territory when you get in that situation. When we came off, I, 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 I thought to myself, I said, okay, we got Thomas coming up. Then we had uh, Stovall, Jalen. I said, four seniors. I said, it's time. This this could be it. Okay, yeah. let's go. And when Tom got on base, you pretty well knew something good was going to happen. That's right. That's right. You know, you got to give the hats off to trying. They played a great series. Oh, they're series. a good team. Great team. They're well um, coached. They, yeah. They, they, they gave you everything you wanted. And, you know, Lady Luck had to shine a little bit different. That could have been them rolling I on. Mean, it, I mean, I was talking to the guy after the game, and uh, he said, and we were talking, and he said, uh, you know, if that ball don't pop up to Brent's right here, that ball game's over, and we don't even get a chance to swing it you know, right. in the eight. That's right. So, um, it could have went either way. That first game was a good game. Their kid pitched his guts out. I mean, he, he was good. He, he was, was really good. And um, we hit we hit the guy second game, and their game three star, we, we had a hard time figuring him out. Yeah. Well, uh, John Scripps did a good job for you, though. Five oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He's, he's one of them guys. You remember, you coached with me, uh, Trevor Ellis. Get him through the first, and, hey, he'll lock in, he'll go. That's right. It was good to see Lutz come back. Yeah, first, first time he's first pitched since Valentine's he's, Day. He's done a great job. A lot of confidence, good velocity, looked good. So we, Our plan was to hang around until we could get him back, and right. it's, it's kind of fell that way for us, so we'll take it. been a good Friday. This is a, your 100th win. Congratulations yeah, thank on you, that. Thank and you. Then also, Trust me, a lot of good players. Oh, there, yeah. Well, you do a good job. Yeah, you do a great job for at, in the classroom, on, in the community. Done a great job for the program. And we got some more good news. Bakington got upset by Bowden. We will be at the house so Wednesday. We're going to be in the friendly confines of Barber Field here for more time. Right. Um, we'll and it'll be a doubleheader Wednesday, the single game Thursday. Is that right? That's right. Um, let me touch on this also. We had great fan support. I'm talking about we probably hadn't had missed many people at the baseball game in a long time. We uh, Hopefully we're making this a thing again. You know, uh, come to a baseball game. Come on out. It's a great atmosphere. Our student section was loud. A bunch of guys I played with and some of my buddies were out in the outfield having a big time. Saw three or four former players out here. That that means a lot. Um, so I'm just proud of everybody. Thank you for coming out and supporting us. Well, we just appreciate your job, dude, the way you, you and your assistant coaches handle, handle business and take care of things. And, uh, you know, it's good to see uh, it's been a long time coming to get back to this this round, lead eight, and hopefully right. we'll coast on one more round to the semifinals and keep on rolling. And uh, it's uh, can y'all can they see Jeremy right there? Oh yeah, field? yeah, I think so. We got the screen, don't we? That's all right. We, <laughs> hey, that well, man right there puts in so much time. On he does. Field. He I'll, likes I'll he enjoys it. He does a good job with it too. Uh, uh, field does look good. Y'all y'all do a great job all the way around. But appreciate it. I know you're. Uh, Probably won't have to take you a while to go to sleep tonight, but you probably get I'll up probably to take, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'll probably take me a nap right when I get home, and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's been kind of. A I heard tent. a fish are biting. I already had a. I've already I talked you. to a couple. People, I so hate we'll fish see. are biting. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna limit out, huh? Well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, coach, congratulations. Appreciate you taking a minute to come and speak with yeah, us. Yeah, appreciate uh, y'all. Thank y'all for doing we'll, this. Remember Tuesday night. I think y'all gonna do coach's corner, aren't you? Yes, the Lee, Lee and Hurricane Hanley comedy hour. Y'all That's tune right. In. That's right. But well, tune in, and <laughs> folks, we'll be back with you. We hope with this. Let me explain something to you. The Georgia High School Association owns the rights to the playoffs, so uh, we've got to we've got to get with them and be sure they give us the rights to broadcast the next game. Just run through, you see at the bottom of the screen through the National High School Federation. But we're making all plans to be here. Wednesday afternoon, bring you the first game of that doubleheader. Do we have an idea on game time, Jim? I'll have to talk to the guy. I'm sure he's uh, he may have called me already. I'll have to check, get my phone, and uh, but we'll probably know something late this evening, probably first thing in the morning. So y'all just stay tuned on Facebook. We'll, we'll give you the, the times and uh, uh, what time we'll get rolling here Wednesday. But, again, the Panthers roll on to the Elite Eight with the eighth inning come, come from behind, actually, two to one in the seventh to tie it up and then put up six big ones on the board in the eighth to win this one 8-2. to two. But that's going to wrap it up for this afternoon. We appreciate you tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it, all the Tryon people. Thanks for tuning in. We hope the Tryon fans have a safe trip home. We had a great season. God bless y'all.